We're about to take it back, back, back. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. Tony Andrew Lee on the radio. Dr. Joe's therapy on the radio. The love got me going live on the radio. Two mics and a mind on the radio. Radio, radio, turn the 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 on the radio. Two mics and a mind. Hello, welcome to my in the Mind. We're here. Yo, yeah. what it do? What it do? Ran off. Y'all ran everybody off. Please. Yeah, but y'all ran them off. Who we ran off? Who we ran off? Ran them off now. They don't care. Congratulations. Well, Glad to see y'all one more week. That's all I see. Oh, they just didn't over that part yet. Glad to see y'all one more again. One more game. Wendy Jane just joined in Vietnam 1984. Hello. I don't, I don't know. Vietnam. Hello. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. How's everyone? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I've been keeping up with the news. What's up? Seeing What's all on? type of stuff going on around, seeing some injustices going on and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Vietnam 1984. <laughs> what happened in 1984? That one you were I born. Don't I don't know who that is, but they know my government name. Well, 1984. No, no, no. That's somebody. Somebody oh, said. Uh oh, they know you. Uh oh, they know you. Might be immigration. <laughs> How was your week? Thanks, everything. Oh man, my week been going. It it, it been busy. Mm-hmm. This is good. It's it definitely been busy. I tell y'all out there now, y'all. Y'all, y'all got to know how to uh bounce back and adjust. Yes, yes, we do. That's right. That's 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 a great um great words right there. We have to learn how to adjust. adjust. Yeah, that's right. I know that's right. I know that's right. Bob and Reed. How do you adjust, Bueno? What are what are some tips you can give on adjusting into situations in life? Sometimes you gotta have short term memory. And what that mean is sometimes when things going on or things going, you know, adversity comes or dynamic situations come, you can't you can't let you know what's going on or what happened in the past distract you from dealing with the instant in the now. You kind of gotta have short term memory in terms of focusing on the now versus reflecting on all the emotions and all the thoughts that come through with the re- your reaction to other stuff. So that's what you gotta do because it's stuff you can't control. You know what I'm saying? Mm, you got dunk? <gasps> I mean, I haven't talked like that. That's all like I got dunk. Oh, he wasn't talking to me. He must be talking to y'all. Uh-oh. He said nothing to me. Uh-oh. But speaking of dump, I wanted to ask y'all about that story about the uh are y'all familiar with the story about the white girl and the black girl? The white girl went to go jump and beat up the black girl, went to jump with her friends, and the black girl ended up beating her up. And now oh. they're trying to charge the black girl with um that's an old, uh, as an adult. That's an old story, isn't it? Uh uh-uh. uh no, 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 no. Okay. The girl came out, right? You gonna show you go ahead. Yeah, let me go ahead and I'll show y'all the news article to it. I won't play the video because there's a possibility that actually video might get banned from mm. YouTube. Oh. but um, I just want to show y'all the news clip. Oh, you can't play the video. I mean, uh, there there's a possibility that I can play the video, you know. You had to say something. But then I've been hearing people on YouTube saying that it's been getting striked. Their page been getting striked when they post it, so oh. I don't want to risk it. 
Uh -oh. I think y'all are y'all familiar with the uh story that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Yeah, I am, but go ahead, tell us. Well, uh, these are teenagers. First of all, we're talking about teenagers. Okay. Um, these are teenagers who uh, the girls they were actually fighting. And um, well, you know what? I seen a video on YouTube, so it's one video on YouTube that's by Daily Mail. They have over three million subscribers, so it hasn't been struck. I guess they they blurred it out. So let me go ahead and just show y'all this particular video. And I'm gonna show y'all the video instant and after that, I'm gonna show you the follow-up news report. Just give y'all commentary. Here we go. Yep. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. She laid out. She killed her. She killed her. She did? What I heard you say. So I'm going to instant replay it one more time. And I'll show before, who's... before I play what it, what I want to I'm going to instant replay it one more time. What I want y'all to take note is how the girl was actually getting, you know, double teamed. And even though she got double teamed, take note to the girl who actually instigated the whole thing. Here we go. Wait a minute. Hi. Okay. Watch it. Oh. Oh. That's bad. All yeah. right. Now I want to take your job and I want to show y'all the clip of the next news clip of the news story. Um, okay. Here we go. Bear with me while I load the news segment because the news is not reported on it and we also see what's happening now. It's just such a traumatic, tragic, tragic event. And at this time, it could have we're, we're hoping that this young lady is okay. And I know my client tonight an exclusive interview with the attorney of a 15 year old girl accused of a brutal beating. We're learning more about what's next for the suspect. This is a 15 year old victim with two students, leaving her in a coma. As Christine Byers reports, the attorney says her background will be a factor in the decision to charge her as an adult for this crime. Kaylee Gaines' family released a statement saying she has been unconscious since the March 8th fight. This still image from the cell phone video of the attack went viral. Even Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey told Five on Your Side the suspect should be charged as an adult immediately. When you have teens who should know better, who do know better, and they're committing adult crimes, there needs to be adult punishment. Greg Smith is that suspect's attorney. Five on Your Side is not naming her because she hasn't been charged as an adult. Smith says she's 15 years old, and the attorney general, like most people who believe she should be certified as an adult, doesn't know all of the facts. One of the general rules about certification hearings is the focus is supposed to be on, <clears throat> on the juvenile and not on the alleged conduct. Smith says his client was a sophomore on the honor roll at Hazelwood East, taking AP courses and was a member of the orchestra. She comes from a great family, a great home, uh, has no prior history with the juvenile court. The court is, is uh, asked to look at is there a history here? Is there a repetitive pattern of crimes, offenses committed by this juvenile that say, hey, she's beyond the reach of the juvenile court. She can't be rehabilitated. Christine Byers, five on your side. Attorney says the certification no. hearing for his client is still likely weeks away and has not yet been scheduled. Meanwhile, GoFundMe pages for the Gain family have reached more than $400,000. What? That's for the good Okay. Yeah, the, the white girl who who's been unconscious, yeah, she has raised over four hundred thousand dollars. Wow. On her on her page. And the black girl who is the honor student in the orchestra and all who has no prior, they're attempting to try to execute the prison, the school to prison pipeline against her to charge her as an adult so that she can be incarcerated as an adult for oh, quite some time. Did the the white girl, did she um hit her first or no? 
Yeah, the white girl initiated the white girl and her friends, they they attempted to jump her. Okay. It was supposed to be two on one. And even so though they two white her, girls, even though they jumped jump. her, the, the black girl still ended up winning the fight. Gotcha. Because the video doesn't show everything. I don't know if you have the other um I, another saw video. I didn't see her strike. No, that video show everything. I didn't yeah, see that everything. video shows the start of it and it showed the end of it. And it shows everybody else fighting throughout the whole entire video. So as you can see, there were several fights going on all simultaneously. But the yeah. video shows everything. The video even shows, watch, when the white girl gets her, her friend comes in and try to punch the black girl while she's down. And, and, and it don't work. I didn't work. see that. Can you yeah. show that? Can you roll that again? Her? All right, let me go. Let me go and grab that video again one more time so I can uh, replay it because I went ahead and I, I took it down. So give me one moment while I go and grab the video one more time. You playing a news story, guy? You should have told us what to look for. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna see if I can slow it down. I think there's mm -hmm. a way that we can slow down the play because I know everything's happening in real time. But I'm gonna see. If there's a way to actually slow down the speed on this thing, I think there is a way to slow down the speed, the playback. Mm -hmm. speed. Oh, okay. uh, point seventy-five. Point seventy-five. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> not that slow. Let me do that. Let me do that. All right. See, look, they two fighting. Now watch, watch how the friend come jump in. They were a friend right there in the back. Look how they jump in on her. Is she still on there? Oh. Man, that's... <sighs> Look at all the other girls over there fighting. This is fair use, YouTube. This is fair use. YouTube, the one got it on now, right? Yeah. yeah they video. It's crazy, mm -hmm. man. It went on. Nobody came out. Nobody looked at this girl unconscious. That's crazy. It ain't even made me up there about who jumped who. It just it, right. it's bad. It's, it's just a bad situation. You know, that girl, she's not on here in the kind That, you know. I mean, when it's a fight, I mean, it's all fair in the fight. When I say that, you know, you streak, you know, I look at back, we would come along, it made no different. And that's what the kid you try to get in those shit Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so I whenever, whenever you're fighting, I mean, ain't no rules to a fight. If you fight and you knock the dude unconscious, I mean, people can say, oh, you was wrong for knocking the guy unconscious. I mean, that's why it's good not to fight. I feel bad for the white girl. I don't think the black girl should be charged uh, as an adult. As an adult, not as a the prison pipeline to convict her as an adult. So that she'll she gonna do that because they gonna do that because. Uh, do you know how old she is? Her background is pretty so good. The news article said that she was fifteen. Oh yeah. wow, she wasn't even. Yeah, yeah, she was in honor classes, AP classes. Yeah, she was honor roll class and all that, but they're she charging had, her as an adult. They're still charging her as an adult. Yep, that's the system. I mean, again. Um, that's how bad the system is, and it, and it's one of those things where it, it is used when convenient. They all and, and what people don't realize that the system always has snags, hitches, glitches that they put in them that vindicate their own. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's set to hang you at any time, just like well, just even with Bill Cosby issue. Um, I'm not agreeing with nothing he did wrong. But the statute of limitation was up on his rape case. What they purposely did in the seventies, which show you how calculated they were, they never brought the case up. They sealed the indictment, just never used it. So when he decided, quote unquote, from what they say, he was going to try to buy NBC, put on black shows. You know, people have a change of heart life. That came in to be a situation where, guess what? Now we bring the indictment back out on him. The indictment gets you arrested, gets you put in prison due to some other loopholes and wind up getting you out. But if you notice, you don't hear nothing from Bill Cosby. You don't see it. He realized that's how dangerous these people are.
Mm-hmm. Um, you know, just relating with, you know, kind of relating that correlating how they know how to hate, like they know how to turn this system now and show where we can use that. Cause you can't just do it. So it has to be something that you had on the books where you could take a minor and move and charge them as an adult. Like sometimes you'll get kids at 14, 15 that do heinous crimes. What you can do with them is you'll hold them and don't try them to their 17th birthday. That way you can try them as an adult if the law doesn't allow you to do it. So they can't circumvent, go around. All they do is hold you and never try you. Just keep running you through a lot of preliminary until you're 17. Yeah, because then at 17, as a minor, like in Georgia, a minor can only get 18 months max. Really? That's why they try to move from juvenile to adult. Because certain crimes and left them where you got a 17, a 13, 14 year old who commits a crime that they should be doing, you know, 15, 20 years. But because of the juvenile system and it was actually set up for what people, what color kids. So a lot of colored kids, quote unquote, were getting this treatment and it was getting bad. I mean, they were only getting max 18 months. So then you start holding them and trialing them as adults. They start learning how to circle and go around. But it's Becky Sue, you know, Wally Jr. Then we remember he's a kid. He still be rehabilitated. So it's all about when you want it. I'm not, you know, I mean, it's, let me say this for uh, how we look at all oh, white people protect their own. So do blacks. Mm-hmm. We don't give ours away either. We only do it because it's one of those things where if we don't give you away, it's like, okay, the son runs home. And he just killed a white man at a grocery store. A white man that owned the, you know, the drug store. This back in the day. So if we can't hold you here. They're going to kill all of us. So we got to give them to you. Oh, y'all a bunch of sellouts. You're a bunch of sellouts. You sell your own out. If we keep it, what's going to happen to the rest of us? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Just like with uh, people look at uh, people blame. Um, what's the young boy in Mississippi? They got, um, mm-hmm. Who? The young boy, not Megan Evers. Um, what's the little young boy? Who? Emmett Till. Emmett Till. But Emmett Till was taken out of his grandfather's house. Now, people don't want to talk about that, do they? Why grandpa didn't shoot? Oh. Remember, the white guy just came in the house and took him out. Mm-hmm. All the black back then, you had to have a gun. No one did. You always had a gun You because you hunt. That's how you get most of your meat, not from the grocery store. So you definitely had a gun. So it is he had a gun. Why didn't he shoot? Because what was going to happen to the rest of them? I lose this one grandchild or I lose my whole family. Right. So a lot of times people don't look at it that way. They just go with, you know, oh, we can do, we can do. It, look look at those Palestinians. They they went, they killed 1,200, you know, quote unquote Jewish people. How many people did they lose? They lost about 36,000 people. They all lost their homes. They pretty much been pushed and dispersed out of their land. They killed, so they got over 100,000 wounded and injured. They have Thousands that sit behind bars, behind twelve hundred people that they kill and kidnap. Now, when you do the math, was it worth it? Mm-hmm. See, that's purpose. It's the teacher when you do math, it don't add up, does it? What are people saying? That's extreme. That makes no sense. It's only twelve hundred people. The object is mentally to show you when you take one of mine, I kill all of yours. So mm-hmm. now make you back off. That's part of the system. So now what you think people realize when you start playing around with them? You can stand and lose more. Wow. That's what they taught you with slavery. If you kill the slave master, you're going to lose more than me. I'm going to kill all the slaves. That's how they invoke the fear in you the way you don't have or you don't see yourself doing better or you just kind of stay docile when it comes to situations because you feel like their extreme is further than you can go. <laughs> Mm-hmm. The young lady, I don't agree. I want I don't want that young girl hurt, but at the same time, you engage yourself into a fight. If you engage yourself into a fight, you always have to consider somebody's gonna get hurt. The object of the fight is to do what? Both of us walk away clean, and that's what we gotta teach our young people. Right. You have so much on the line, and fights can go so badly. Is this really what you want to do? You know how adults with him. You kind of consider, okay, I can go to prison, I'll kill you. So these kids got to realize what you're doing. You can put your family. Her parents are going to get look at getting sued too now because she's a minor. 
So whether she's an AP student, all that fine. Y'all think her parents not being sued for this? Mm -hmm. They got medical bills. Yeah. Even though they were, the, she was. The, they both it looked an equal square fight. The friend only hit after. They didn't both jump her together. Right. Right. The way you said it, Wayne, you just I don't know. You just terrible narrating when you say stuff. I was looking for two people to jump out and jump. They were both fighting. The friend did come up and hit her, and someone else jumped in. Her friend jumped in. So it went like both of them was on top of her and she fought her way out and did it. Both parties join in. Yeah. It's just yeah. bad. Nobody won. Nobody won. Now she look at that girl. I'm just sure she's looking at now. She felt bad enough. She looked at it would have been better for her to just beat me up. And I'm looking at I can go to jail. Yeah. These motherfuckers send me to jail for murder if this girl dies. You know, I'm be saying for probably attempted murder because it was a head trauma. Mm -hmm. uh, if this girl, I mean, my parents are going to be sued. Her parents, I'm sure white people call them threatening them. They kill them if she die. They probably mm -hmm. all hate mail and they being sued. Such a smart girl. girl. Is she no. Um, wait on. Yeah, what's up? Did she come out the coma or no? When she in the coma and then she came out? Mm -hmm. out? They're still she, waiting, uh, right? Let me let me let me read her GoFundMe page. I'm gonna put up her GoFundMe page with the details because I don't know the end of the question. I so I'm just I'm just gonna put up the GoFundMe page. Let's read it. Let's see what it says. Yeah, because you still trying to get they still trying to get money. Well, I thought I can't remember her name. What's her put up the GoFundMe page real quick? What's her name? So she'll look up to see if she's out the coma. You can look at that. What's her name? Hey Nicole, what's her name? Um, Kaylee James. James. Okay. Um, I actually, I actually wanted to do that because I was still building a story. Oh, go on. Uh, but, but I just tell y'all, um, there's been now, you know, the uh white girl, she's been able to successfully raise over four hundred thousand on her GoFundMe page. However, raised the black girl, however, the black, however, the black girl. She, her, her, GoFundMe, her GoFundMe page has been stricken down and restricted where she can't raise money for the black girl. She's been going back and forth. I think it may just now be back up. I'm not certain, but I did notice there's a video I want to share with y'all from a lady on TikTok who made a video to share her opinion. Excuse me, sorry. On that particular aspect. So let me uh share that with you as well. So as you guys know, there has been a lot of back and forth regarding the GoFundMe's between Kaylee and Marnice and the fact that everything was one-sided and hers was taken down. Speaking with GoFundMe, it was specifically because they are claiming that we cannot raise money for any type of legal fee. So at this point, we were able to get the GoFundMe back up and running or a GoFundMe up and running. However, it is strictly to benefit Sorry about that is strictly to benefit the DeClue family and their financial struggles as a result of everything that's go has been going on the online harassment, the dock thing, the stalking, just everything as a result of this case. The GoFundMe so if it gets reported and it gets taken down for whatever reason, any money that the family has not already transferred over into their account will be refunded. So you guys don't have to worry about that. Like you guys, right now, you'll see that I that I am organizing the GoFundMe. However, that is going to change. It is set up as a beneficiary, waiting for the family to go ahead and set up their financial information with GoFundMe. So everything will go directly to them. I will not have access to do any of the transfers. Again, as you guys know, I have full permission from the family to go ahead and set this up. I spoke with them literally like five minutes ago. So if you guys do want to go ahead and help out, click the Linktree link in my profile. And the very first link is going to be the GoFundMe. So the Daily Mail has recently reported a story in regards to some of the um, critique that's been going on about it because people are taking sides. And one article I found is pretty interesting. I wanted to share with y'all briefly from the Daily Mail. Uh, may share a different um, perspective or might provide a little more details in regards to the matter. 
Um, here it is right here. Uh, it says the family of the Missouri team, Marnice the Clue, which is the black girl, charged with bashing Kaylee Gaines with the white girl's head in the pavement. It says cruel people have wrongly reported fundraiser for legal fees as a scam. So that lady just providing more details as to why the GoFundMe page for Marnice Clue was taken down versus the Kaylee Gaines page was still able to go up and all. So it just seems like this whole entire thing, you know, uh, some people seem, they seem to think that it's slightly racial. I don't know, Dr. Joe, what you think about it? It's difficult. I mean, I don't, I, I don't like to see the white girl, anyone. I mean, it doesn't matter about, I don't want to, I don't want to say colors ain't in, in, in a coma. Right. Um, I just, you know, I, I think, you know, it should be reprimanded, whatever happened, but the girl should not be charged as an 18 year old because it was just, it's a fight. Teenagers fight. And let's be honest, some, some kids ha are stronger than others and some kids black out. I don't know if you guys ever been into a fight or have seen a fight, but some kids could black out. And she has a background, a clean background. She's never been into fights. She must have been really, I don't know, something must have really provoked her for her to want it to fight to get to that point. So I don't think she should be charged as an 18 year old. Maybe teach her a lesson. Maybe she should, you know, be charged according to her age. But I do feel bad for that girl that's in a coma, you know? Um, it's unfortunate, you know. Ho hopefully, she gets, she wakes up because they're young. Mm -hmm. Then we need to look at. Um, so, so did she get jumped or not? No, not really. If you look at the video, you you get to see a little bit more of. of well, no, we also reported the story that the black girl being jumped. He sounded like two white girls. That's a white girl jumped the girl. They did not jump her. Her and the girl start off fighting. The other girl hit her. She didn't get a chance to get jumped by two people. You kind of told the story kind of outside. It. That probably is where you kind of see it. But um, I mean, it's a fight at the same time. I think a couple things are important. What was the fight about? Who initiated the fight? Mm -hmm. Although you said where the white girl came out of, whether it was she stole something from the Caucasian girl, whether she had hit the Caucasian girl earlier and a Caucasian girl looked at, okay, I want to fight you at school, but you hit, you hit me. They said, well, at that point, it's a cooling off period. There's a lot of factors that need to be known. And this is the thing at the end of the day. Both of them lost. Because she's unconscious and this other girl future shot. Mm -hmm. So at that point, once you yeah, got a person yeah. out, you throw her head to the ground, boop, you keep boom. So it's like, you know, they're gonna look at they're, they're gonna look at at that point it should have stopped. One, they look at this. Even when you when you study martial art, martial art doesn't teach you to continue to keep going. It tells you how to make maneuvers, and then they tell you the first thing, then get away. That's always the technique. If you watch martial art, there's, there's not, martial art will not teach you how to be the on the offense. It teaches you defense. That's why people say I'm teaching you defensive training, mm -hmm. meaning you're not the aggressor. So all the techniques I'm gonna show you is what to do when you're attacked, okay? The method that they're gonna show you when you're attacked is to, it's why it's called martial arts. So it's to subdue, take control back. Because if you've been attacked, then at a point you don't have control. So the goal is to take control back. Mm -hmm. It's not keep going, break, snap, keep popping, keep right. chopping. That's not, they're not going to teach you that. It's defensive, meaning I'm being attacked. You watch football, you have offensive, defense. Defense can't move, the offense move. If defense moving for offense, guess what happened? You got a flag, right, Boston? Don't worry about this time. So anyway, mm -hmm. that's the goal of what martial art does. Offense has to move first, then you become defense. So once she got her on the ground, boom! Yeah, I, said, I, said, I said yes, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So I'm just telling that's how it is. Yeah. You can't hold her to that. Why? Now, if they can prove that she knows martial art, that's why they tell you about license. If you know training, they hold you like a boxer because there are things you know legally that you're taught to do. Mm 
mm-hmm. to walk away, to avoid. You have to be on the defense, not the offense. So she wouldn't know that because she's not a trained fighter. But mm-hmm. she's looking at, hey, my anger got me. I was hit. I was attacked. I was hit. I thought I fighting two people. I needed to get this person where I okay. could get up to fight. So that you know, there's legal ground for her defense. If it's two people, I'm trying to run the one helpless so I can fight the other person off. Mm-hmm. A, strong, a good attorney can help her with it. You know, it's just un- my part of this right? ain't about black or white. It's just unfortunate that this girl is in a coma. She could die. This could run. And could, oh, that, man, come on, people. Let's get pair of colors. Some just look at we both of them lost. Yep. And if she dies, she's really done. She's done. So, um, there's a community activist who has allegedly said they have looked into the case further and investigated the case further, and they have information that um maybe you know some behind the scenes information i want to show a clip of this particular community activist sharing a uh more detailed perspective of it um keep in mind this community activist she is outraged by the whole ordeal uh she's very vocal and she's using excellent throughout the situation but um she's providing a more detailed perspective that may be able to provide uh more details as we're trying to find out more information about the story, I want to take this many shares with y'all. Really, we wasn't trying to find you, trying to find out more about it. Come on, if we try to, mm-hmm. <laughs> man, man, like, we was trying to find out, man. Get to the nitty gritty, man. You <laughs> trying to unravel the OJ Simpson case. Tell my ass, we try. Yeah, man, this is you. Man, you know, man. What's going on, man? Do y'all want to hear the latest side of the story, y'all? Don't no, hey, just oh, do it. Just say that what you're doing. Don't be hard. No, so, so if I if I was to do it and I didn't introduce it, y'all think I'm being rude and trying to cut y'all yeah, off. So I'm just no, trying to explain you, this no, stuff. No, 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 word again. Video. Hold on. First of all, you give bad verbiage when you start out when you said she was she was being jumped by the white girl. Again, there again, can out. you listen? Let, let, let me play the community activist side of the story. Again, let me play the story. We pieced it together again. Stop. Stop. We're not piecing that. You're piecing together. You got this jack led story. We did not ask you to piece that together. We done saw what happened. Y'all would have fought in the movie. We'll be back, y'all. My the police to go to 15 year olds and eight year old black kids and handcuffs because you don't see them as children that they are. This girl is a 15 year old child. They arrest this girl. Okay? She's in juvenile. She's still arrested now. She's been in there ever since the incident happened. I want to say it's been a month. It might have been a little longer, but she's been in there ever since it happened. When you go into juvenile, they don't really give you a bond. If they're going to release you based on the crime, they will give you to your parents in their custody. But of course, being that she's black, they don't want to release this girl with any stipulations, give her to her family. They want to keep her locked up. The more disregarding, disrespectful, racist thing in this situation is that they're trying to try this young girl as an adult. Okay. Now, let's talk a little bit about her, okay? Now, the white girl's name don't matter, but I believe her shit is Kaylee White Trash. That ain't really her name, but that's who the fuck she is. So, let's look at the white girl. First of all, the white girl is white Mm -hmm. trash. This is all started to come out from that viewed what happened, children at the school, videos on motherfucking line. White girl is in a gang. And so, trying to be tough in the gang that she's in, the bitch is... (laughs) Always trying to bully somebody. Who is this right? woman? Um, she's uh-huh. known to be a bully at school, mm-hmm. and the little bitch wasn't even supposed to be at the school because the day before she jumped. Now, the girl, Mornice, you're gonna see in the video the black girl, her friend got jumped by this white girl and her friends in the bathroom the day before. The mm-hmm. bitch was so in the wrong that they suspended the white girl. And she comes back up to the school the next day to fight some more. Look, just trifling little thug ass little bitch. See what I'm saying? But everybody wants to paint this white girl as this fucking pristine ass princess. I sure hate it. I really the fuck do. So she comes back up to the school. Yes, sir. I haven't been able to verify this part, but we did verify this. There were adults standing around when the fight was going on. Some people said. One of those adults was her motherfucking mama. 
which I don't know is true because if I was on the scene and I was somebody's mama, first of all, why would you take your daughter to a fight, you stupid bitch? The way she was laying on the ground getting her ass whooped and she was seizuring, I would think her mother would have run to her. So I'm not sure if her mom really was there, okay? But there were adults around. Mm -hmm. Nobody intervened. Nobody stopped. None of this shit. And the girl came back up to the school to fight. You're not even supposed to be there, girl. You're not. This is called trespassing. You're not supposed to be there. All right. I just stopped it. Yeah, she goes it's hard to listen to She got like she used too many extra, so I just kind of cut it out. But basically, what she is saying is that she's looking for a person, and apparently, you know, um, the white girl is notorious for being in the gang and going around jumping people and fighting people, whatever the case may be. And it's ain't just a one time kind of thing, it's the poor still, Horrible. So, so me, don't like white folks, apparently. Yeah, Hello? she doesn't. So I, I, they just told me her name, and I've heard of her. She hates white people. Like she, uh -huh. yeah, why she mixed with some of she, she, Yeah, she, she mixed. mixed. So I don't think she gonna hate white people. I mean, she has well, to hate that's, what they told, that's the information they gave me. Actually, that's the information that um, <laughs> Kadash actually gave me one day that she hates white people. <clears throat> Let me say this: a couple of things. The way you say stuff, you kind of really thought. She doesn't go around jumping on people. She had just got in a fight. Now she might be in a game. See, kind of when y'all tell stuff, you kind of put a little extra attitude to it. Because when you say she jumps people, that's multiple times. She wound up fighting that young girl's friend the day before, and she was suspended. One is true. Coming back on the premises when you're suspended is criminal trespassing. Right. That's a problem. And then you came up there to fight. Right. These are both charges. But to say that she goes around jumping on people, that's another, that's a that's a different statement. Now the lady who you have on the show, her, she need her behind wheel. I don't think nobody is, I don't I think everybody had their ends with me. I'm pro for my people. But I'm not pro stupid. I think this lady is very um she's a bad person to represent people color to look at though she's helping out. You keep calling this girl a big she a kid. Right. These are kids, and I exactly. appreciate it. And, and, and not saying, oh, you her, we need to hear our language because you need to see the sickness of these people. She is part of the problem. That's Hello, right. white blank B. Yeah, this girl is this girl on the comb. This somebody kid. Right. And your mouth is like you can't be a mother yourself. You're a mother. Mm -hmm. That's some other word. That's another word go behind it. To do what you're doing, and you ain't think about the kid. Come on. Mm -hmm. I, these are kids. I did a lot of stuff when I was bad. Look at me. I'm a pastor today. Wow. Well, they kill me off. Of no, these are kids. You was a you're a pastor too. No, but I did bad things when I was. Yeah, me too. I was saying what I did. When people say me too, what are you to me? I said, yeah, I smoke crack. Somebody hey, said me hey, too. What me me too. Yeah, they say me too. When I mess with you, but so let's give kids a chance to be kids. This is a situation where adults got to come in. Yeah. Let me and you talk. My kids shouldn't have been there. I remember one right. time. Right. Uh, Bryce got an incident at school. They called me. I think his mama told me to go out there. He was suspended. They told me to come to school. Um, he had been suspended. He got in the fight. So I'm, I'm like, I'm going to the school. So I'm in there. And this guy's in there. I walked in. So uh, he's a parent. He, was in there. he said, he said, I already know my daughter started it. I was mm -hmm. trying to I didn't know. He was just saying. I didn't know what he was talking about. So somebody came out. They said, they can't be in here together. I'm trying to figure out who they're talking about. They, they, they're, not, they're not supposed to be in here together. So they separate me and the guy. He was like, I already know my, he said, I already know my, he said, I already know my daughter started. I'm trying to figure out. First of all, I don't know who he got to fight with, why this guy saying this, right? But he was cunt. We were cool. You know what I'm saying? And they want, they was, oh, y'all can't be together. It made like him and I was going to kill each other. Mm -hmm. well, I, don't, I don't even know what happened. I don't know who he got into it with, what happened. But it was the other girl. Apparently, she thought somebody, she, somebody, she said, had her ear plug, her earphone. She was so that she wasn't going through everybody's book bag. Sergeant Bryce, like, no, you're not going to my book bag. I got your earphone. She's like, okay, he gonna let her go on a book bag. So she decides she's gonna slap him. He slapped the bag. Yeah. Oh, suspended both. Said, let me get this straight. Hold on. I said, let me get it. he was slapped. Yeah, it wasn't his fault. I said, so he's getting suspended. They said, well, what we have to do? It's like a thing. We can't even tell you. They said, now, of course, I'm so dumb. We can't tell you she's being suspended because that's her right. That's her private business. Right, she can't that. know he's been suspended. I said, so. When she don't come to school and he don't come to school, they're not gonna know they suspended. Well, we can't tell them though. That's their personal bit. That's their private business. That's what they say. 
That's okay. Dumbest thing. I didn't get asked because it's dumb. He was struck. He's not supposed to defend himself. Well, we're trying to teach him not to. And really, like, basically, he should have let him slap me. And I disagree with that, you know. No, he shouldn't have let him slap me. But we as parents, I didn't say, oh, you're supposed to kill her, that hoe, that be. Uh, a parent said, oh, man, I'm a kid. Hey, kids. Yeah. You kids will come right along later on to be friends later. The parents yeah. really push a lot of this stuff. Like, if that girl mama was there, she need to go to prison. Yes, I agree. She I to to that lady, else, she ain't got nothing to do with I lock up my son. Because you did. We don't visit. Right now, the racial tension is so high between us. Let's fight about right. something. That's real. You know what I'm saying? That fight right. about something that me and you do. You know, right. some big grown clan man want to come put their hands on that. Now let's let's talk about the we'll tap song. These are kids. That's Surely right. the girl not racist. Her friends were all black. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. The black gr- people yeah. came to jump the black girl. Yeah. So that means she had a black friend. So that and means she's not racist. Black, it was several people fighting. So she had a lot of black friends. A lot of people didn't see her that it way. It looks like a mixed and community. Racist, yeah. It's just bad. It's still, I ain't just about her being no gang. I ain't just about her coming back and she's suspended. What's the rule for coming back? You get Now you look at expulsion because you came back and that's actually criminal. You can go to jail. So she come out of coma. Let's look at her. Go ahead. Let's address that as a juvenile. That's right. Let's get this young girl him. Uh, on the end, uh, I think she needs some help on how to deal with a situation and get out and don't overkill. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and that's for her. Because sometimes if people you mess with, man, they don't know how to stop till they neutralize the threat. And that's the part. Yet yeah, some people don't know how to stop till they neutralize the threat. Yep. That's just, I'm just beyond it now. And some people get they can't turn it off till threat neutralized. I think it's depending on the anger and 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 their lifestyle yeah. they're living. You know, because sometimes you don't know who you're dealing with, how much anger or how much yeah. they're, things they're re- oppressing. You know, they're holding in. So once they let out, they black out. So hold oh, that down. No, no, it says she told Angela who that Stanton that she didn't care if the white babies die after she did the Angel, Angelina. Who, who I mean, Angela Foundation. I don't know who that. I don't know. Who that. So basically, it's a foundation where they help uh single uh teen mothers or something like that. So Who's that lady that she, the lady she, who was just up there. Yeah, she said that she didn't care about this. She wants to speak about this foundation because she had black babies and white babies. So she she spoke bad about that foundation because she had white babies in there too. Wow. She, said she didn't care if the white babies died. See, yeah. it, it ain't, and that's not your hate for white people. That's your hate for people. See, sometimes we'll try to find, we find people. To try to, like, sometimes people take out their violence on other people. Because your hate actually stems from somewhere else. And to have that much hate that you don't care if babies yeah. die, I mean, these are babies still, regardless of the color. You're looking at adults right. that bad, bad, terrible decision. You know, you could be told and believe some of Like, didn't you believe in Christmas? Mm-hmm. I did, yeah. yeah. How did you believe on your own or your parents started to tell you? Parents told me. Family. So, yeah. so when you became up and you took now, you someone informed you it was not, did you still believe in it? You know what I learned, but I started to do better. In saying that, so once these kids get up, if they get around the right positive people, you you can always change your outlook on things. So to damn a kid, when this give me an opportunity to get around people where I can get better information. Like your parents, our parents' purpose of telling us that Christmas was good and that was a Santa Claus that gave a thing was really coming from a good place for, from their perspective. Mm-hmm. But you basically taught us lies and you hear truth because you actually bought it. So when parents teach their kids hate about other people, it's because they feel like it's actually for their good, but you're hiding truth from them. Mm-hmm. So once they come into the knowledge of truth, what do you do? That You'll embrace it if you're a person for truth. Like me, my dad, he didn't care for white, but he never taught me kill white people, anything. He just, it was his standpoint because what he saw growing up, he didn't care when it came down to it. If you if you push the wrong button, you'll know that. But he could deal with you. He never taught me anytime you can hurt a white man, anytime you see. We never had that conversation. My dad was, never taught me that, never taught me to hate him and kill him, never. So a lot of it is you really have to be careful about what you're doing. That's why it's important for people to, uh, you got to get out and kind of meet and see people. I know, like, growing up in the South, I told you, 
Puerto Ricans, Hispanic. I think the first time I seen a Hispanic other than on TV, Chico and the Man was high school. When the uh, first time you seen a Hispanic, uh, Twain, that you could think of? Uh, in high school. When? Wow. See that? We didn't, I didn't, we didn't have, yeah, we didn't have them growing up in elementary. Oh, no, 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 no. We didn't see no Hispanic in no. the neighborhood, though. Black people, no. Yeah. No. It was just black and white, basically. You didn't, you didn't, no, you didn't see. I mean, you didn't see, I don't even remember interracial kids. No. No, I don't even remember, I don't remember interracial kids. Not in our school, not I mean, we didn't see them. I mean, what made us a different hell to tell, but so when we saw them, it was foreign. Like, I remember high school seeing Chinese kids, probably like ninth grade, maybe. When I see Chinese kids, we had a few of them that was in the class, you know, had you kind of seen, but we didn't talk to them. It's like because they didn't they didn't really speak English, they didn't they didn't communicate with us. So yeah. I mean, in turn, you know, black people, we ain't we ain't going out no way for you. You know, black kid, you want to call, hey, what's up? We say, okay, you know, he's gonna hear a cool one, you know. But we don't go out the way say, hey, we wanna we wanna try, we need to try to racially intermingle and know each other like no, it's just like hey, that's you. But black people, believe it or not, will accept anybody. We are. We'll, 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 we'll ride or die. We ain't finna say, oh, like if there's a white boy with us and there's some more white people, some black people, hey, man, we like, no, nah, that, that ain't happening. I, I that agree. ain't happening. You know, that yeah. is, or Hispanic if people come, oh, man, well, we, we, we like that. That ain't gonna happen. It just, that's kind of how we roll. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes mm -hmm. I had a Caucasian friend, like, I remember other Caucasians came around. They swapped up, they changed up. We would love, no, we'd be like, man, he cool. Why don't we let you know that? Like, oh, we say he's straight. If you say he's straight, he cool. That already the other black. Okay. So he, he, okay, he like one of us. You know, basically, when you say a white boy for us, we, for street, you say, oh, man, he, yeah, he's straight. That, that said everything. Or you say, you know, no, no, he cool. He real cool. They be like, oh, okay, okay, what's going on? That's cold for us saying he not a threat. Mm -hmm. He, the police, he not going to hurt us or she not going to hurt us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. once we said about an outside race with black people, that's that's cold. Anytime I see John uh, Humper, he said, I agree. That's how we do it. It's real easy for us. We come in, somebody say, they be like, man, who the, who the, you know, man, who the white boy? Who the? Be like, oh, man, he's straight. They be like, oh, okay, okay. That That's street for you know. That said everything. He ain't the police. Wow. He ain't threat. He ain't trying to take nothing. They're not, that, we don't have to go in there. Well, let me, see, let me explain. See, he grew up differently. He grew up in a neighborhood. <laughs> With Negroes. Once we say you straight, it was Hispanic. Who at time we said, oh no, no, dude, straight. He's straight. So it's like they get the black person okay and everything good. I mean, for you don't know them. Just say if you see me with somebody that's you. already, you know that. Come on, you grew up and you say because you've been trying to I figure out. We I seen you with the Chinese trying to figure out what's and you say, oh no, no, he's straight. In the street, that said everything right now. You say he's straight, he cool. No, no, he real cool. You be like, you say that, that mean. We can talk just like we talk now. If you say he real cool, that's cold for we can talk like we talk. You think it has something to do with the culture? Yeah, because for us, think about it. For us and for people of color, think about this. When they were when they were in slavery, the, the conversation for the so-called Negro when they was in uh segregation depression. So um that's depression. They're gonna they gonna do financial, but the so-called Negro always been in depression. The, the, about 19, we always had depression. So mm -hmm. So in depression, we had to learn how to talk cold. There were some whites that were advocate, you know, uh, abolitionists, people who were for free. Right, right, people. right. So, so all we knew was everyone you see, you have to do this. You can't look him in the eye. You got to look down. Then somebody said, no, he good. He, okay, I can look him in the eye. He recognizes me on a man. Mm -hmm. He said he not like the other ones. There are things they learn how to say to let people of color know we can talk around this one. It's okay, we safe. So they taught codes. Like people would teach you, like, I mean, I don't know y'all here. Like people give you code words, somebody come to get you, they say, if I send somebody to get you, they'll say this word. They'll say blue. That'll let the kid know right. it's safe to go with them. Years ago, when I was coming on, you gave kid code words. That's right. And that came yeah. from slavery. There were code words you used to let them know whether it was okay to do what you were doing. You know what? You absolutely spot on. When I think about those code words, what I've actually been doing is um, I know you challenge us uh to start when we're watching movies and we're watching different things, actually start watching some of the subliminal messages behind it. 
Uh, one thing that I want to uh, that came across uh, that I saw that I want to share with you uh, is good times. Uh, I know oftentimes you talk about the show Good Times. Um, I don't know if y'all are aware, but right now Good Times is actually in the process of doing the animated remix. Yeah, what I like yeah. to do is I like to share with y'all a quick two minute clip of the Good Time animated clip, and I want to see whether or not what would y'all think about it. So get some of y'all commentary on this new Good Times animated mix but before i do i want to share with y'all that norman lear he is also making a cameo appearance in this good time animated cartoon oh, series so this is something you know that uh his legacy is also involved in when it comes to particular good times uh that being said let me go ahead and without further ado let's play this good times clip i have important news let me guess. The state called and they want to cut you a disability check for your face. Hold up. You can get paid for that? This is from a fool who stares at his orange juice every morning. It says concentrate on the box. <laughs> who the dumb in there? Shit. Me for not wearing a condom. Woo! Shadows fall over my heart. It all started with my grandfather, James Evans. My job as the man of this house is to take care of this family no matter what. I just want to let you know I'm going to take good care of Gray. <laughs> Juan, my boyfriend. Daddy, let him go. Baby, you, she come with me. Junior's repeating the 10th grade for the third time. Is there anything you can suggest to help him get to the drive through Can you do OnlyFans? <laughs> Take off your shoes. Let me see what kind of feet you're working with. I took you to the dark side. Dear Black Heavenly Father, College Redeemer, uh, if you could just help us. Son, it's for you. You phone. Who this? Black everything. At least they ain't got that drug dealing baby under my roof no more. Hmm. Man, my mouth ready for some milk right now. Dalvin, why are you so breast obsessed? It's childish, man. Bruh, I'm a baby. I can't get no more childish than that. In a nocturnal state of mind. Your neighborhood is a real shithole. It's the system. They put the guns and drugs on the streets. Underneath this black, black sky. This is getting dangerous. I won't just sit back and let you put yourself in harm's way. I love you too damn much. Everything, everything black. The revolution will not be televised. Come on, Rosa Paws. Can't you just enjoy this? Black bird, black bird, black sky, black light, black everything black. black, 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 black. We're just as good as the Evans of old. Didn't that just die no might? But the truth is, we're the Evans of new. Bitch, you look like money. Everything, everything black. What about the struggle? We're black. It'll be here tomorrow. Everything black. Black bird, black moon, black sky, black light, black, everything black. Wait, wait a minute. A baby? Little baby? And baby, baby? Too many babies around this crib. The new improved good times animated series. What say y'all? That is absolutely terrible. I am hot. I can't believe it. Hey, don't put don't put that on the white man, Dwayne. No, you call his name. Norman, you know, new people do that. They don't Norman Lil, they might put Norman Lil on that to show him the kind of because you want to get the rights for you. Good time, he probably said, Well, let me just show you on one. Yeah, but he, you he, that, man, that man died last year, 2020. I'm Norman Lil, big dead. I hear somebody know yeah. up here. I'm like, That's crazy. Oh, so, somebody so, said, Steph Curry, uh, Steph Curry, Steph Curry, so to provide, to provide, yeah. to provide clarification, Norman Lear, we all know that he died, but this is a cartoon, so his character. Is gonna appear or make a guest appearance in the park, <laughs> but and his family had a sign. But look at that, Steph Curry. Exactly. Look at that, Steph right. Curry. They, 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 these are people that sit around, and I heard Wanda voice in the background. Her life shot anyway, so I don't expect uh, her homosexual. <laughs> but that just show you these this basketball dribbling nigga. That's Woo, what Stephen Curry. Curry. <laughs> exactly. They getting him to sell out. Normally a white man, oh, no, 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 no. is a white man as well. 
Oh, stop. They did not get him to sell out. He had already sold out. Right. You try to tell people all the time, you're not on those platforms unless you've done something. Exactly. They all own. That, and it makes no sense that he looked at this as a black man, quote unquote. Right. With kids and daughter, and you thought that was okay from the wife using that type of language. This is how you frame this, is how right. they, you know, show your, you know, your people. You know, father, you come at home with a father, so it's a disgrace and a trice of what he really trying to do. But these people here upon it, they move. Listen, they go from wrestling to movies. They go from one lie to another lie. This guy go from on the court, and this is what he does. He mesmerizes you on the court because he's in a system. Then he comes in here, he gets a part of it, he get a part of this. So it just show how they keep moving. All these people are entertainers. Your athletes are entertainers. Mm -hmm. We were far along so far different. That was the biggest relationship that were ever known between an athlete and another, you know, maybe a celebrity was who? Um, 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 uh, Muhammad and um, Jim Brown. He was a boxer, a great boxer, and a great football player. Then they had an entertainer, Sam Cook. You know what I'm saying? Malcolm is another political speaker. He had a time they had all these people together. You only learn about it later on in life if that story even true. That all these people were together this one night in Miami. Because, I mean, it's just amazing it was here until we learned about it now. But all these people, they put you out here, they blackball you when you stand up for mm -hmm. something. None of these people stand for that. That's why they leave them out there. He don't stand for nothing. No credibility. And, and the problem that come with these people is us because we support them. We'll still watch them. And they don't look at this. This will hurt our people. Our young people need to see this. It, look at, this is going to destroy. I mean, we've already been destroyed. This is only deepen and worsen, the, you know, worsen our situation. It's worse. And you heard about not watching and you and you start defunding people that support it. Like Steph Curry, not watching him. Not what, but hey, they don't. Still, still great. Step. Okay, whatever you want to say. I don't give a flying foot about them. I never did in a way. Uh, move them out of the way. Move all these guys out of the way. You know what I'm saying? I don't watch the guys. I start moving away from a lot of sports there when I talk to people. Because at some point, you got to look at these people being paid to, to, to mesmerize you, to keep you off of real issues. Now they move from now to where. Now let me get in the movies. Let me get over here. Let me get over here. You know, and the other things, you know, that I can mesmerize these people and keep them off of things that really affect them. Yep. What it that's why court does not affect my overall income or my lifestyle. It does not anyway, it takes away because I'm putting the time in to watch you and I'm paying to go pay these tickets to go and look at you in person. So I'm actually losing fooling with you while you're winning and you're coming back again to rape and manipulate me by giving me some foolishness like that. And the more people fight it and the more they show it, the more it'll get people to say. I gotta see that because it's so controversial. Then I get hooked. Man, you know who find it? Little baby. Oh, you know find That's my friend. Oh, then come on. Then black Jesus, he bit. It's just a mockery. And religion has always been our sanctity. That's always been our our spot of you know security. What we've always used when hard times are coming. You know, hard times are coming up. And yet now they come along. Hey, you make a fool out of it. That's what they do. But what say you? Was Norman Lear um, mentioned as a producer because they used actual good times? I want. Yes, they had to put him in there because they had to credit him for the original good times. Right. And his, and his, and his family. Well, well, I seen an article. It. It. it says Norman Lear. To make cameo appearance in Good Times Netflix animated series at Two Guys Con League, so forth and so forth. Um, as I scroll down through the. Uh, to be able to spend a little more time with him as he is set to make a cameo appearance in the upcoming animated series. Uh, the Netflix is the only picture of television comedy. Which follows a new generation of the Evans family residing in one of the last remaining housing projects in Chicago. That's yet to said to be released in the summer 2024, which is now we know it's now this April 12th. So, yeah, um, it appears that at the time of this, when it was actually made, uh, Norman Lear was involved, or his legacy or his family or whoever were involved in the creation of the show. 
Yeah. I also went and I pulled the IMDB receipts on it. And uh, IMDB, if I can pull up that screen, um, the Good Times TV series, uh, IMDB, it kind of tells all the quirks and all that stuff. Uh, it shows different creators. Uh, with Nanda Shepard, Paul Jones, as well as go down to all the different executive producers for all different shows. And um, it does have, you know, Norman Lee and this stuff, you know, all these other black people, Baby Smooth, Yvette Nicole Brown, myself, Martin, Wanda Sight. If you really look at it, the thing that has got me the most of Paul is I think this show in itself is the meaning to the black culture. And even though the executive producers, you know, are the white people, all the actors actually pay, I don't know, you know, why would you even want to partake in this as an actor if you want to say J.D. Smooth, you know, Jay Farrell, all these people, you already have financial money, you already have what you want to take part in the quote-unquote cleaning process. Yep. That's what I was thinking. Because the reason why, because they own, you got contracts. All those people are under contract. Agendas. Yep. Yeah. I mean, agenda, they're under contract. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the shag, all these people are under contract. These people, none of these people are free. Wow. Y'all got to remember that. They don't let you go. Look, okay, that makes as much sense as John Cena free. He's still owned by WWL, WWE. He's still in a business. The same thing with The Rock. All those movies, he gets a portion of that. Mm. Batista, Ron, Ron, uh, Randy Orton, those guys, those guys still owned by him. Mm-hmm. If you look at the movies they play, they're WWF, WWF movies. Yeah. So people got to remember, they still owned. Mm. You know that man, you can't afford for a man to get up and say, No one can tell me what to do. I'm not owned by anyone. I can't let you out here. You know what other people are gonna do? They won't be like you. What mm. you think they did with okay? You remember watching Roots? I don't know if y'all remember. When Chicken George came home, he showed off his free paper. Mm-hmm. Like, right, so then like this him be my daddy. He he he's a free man. They saw his paper, and they let him know he had to get out of there. He had 30 days ago, he couldn't stay around there. Or else he would go back into slavery. So yeah. that would get rid of because you know that start putting in people's mind. Okay. I want to be like my daddy. I want to be free. I want to be on tell me what to do down on me. You can't ever keep people like that around. You can get rid of those people. So don't ever believe none of these guys are free. The athletes, no, what happened to them? Show me one of them break away free and walk off with money. Ain't no. Ain't no. They don't. Nope. Nobody's oh, on freedom on me. I do what I want. And look at Puffy. Look at the rest of them. They break you. Yes. Just like with Sherrod. I sent y'all a video to look at some of that stuff. How mm-hmm. all that stuff came out on him. When? After he started to sue Sherrod. Mm. Yep. That's when Cassie came out. That's when everybody. I'm sure he done some stuff. But you also got to look at the fact that it is. Mm-hmm. They have all. Yeah. He went out. He went out of the company. I sent y'all a video to watch, and I posted my people. And I know, I know y'all won't watch this. It's kind of long, but you need to watch it. Um, one of his problems he had with them, and he's and he's on that discussing it. Mm-hmm. Well, he um, Sherrod was supposed to be um, growing this fruit for his um, for his liquor brand, and it was it. They brought George Clooney on the liquor brand, and they bought it for four hundred million dollars. Mm-hmm. George Clooney. So when they bought that liquor brand, that's who brand they started pushing. When Ooh. Puppy said so, he said, I sent some people to Mexico to check on my stuff to see what was going on. He said they hadn't even planted it. So there was no move to do nothing. They had no plan for my liquor at that point because they were going to push George Clooney liquor. They were trying to say that John Cone liquor was a liquor for black people. That's for urban. So they're trying to push this white boy liquor, you know, George Clooney liquor. So that's when he told him, I tell you what, I'm going to sue y'all. Mm. He he decided to sue a $88 billion corporation. They're one of the largest liquor distributors. Hmm. You win. I'm not getting one. No, well, no. I don't know who in the road, but 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 they settled. No. He, he, okay, stop it. He didn't win. They, didn't All they got this money back. They didn't get him one dime. Really? No. He got so much going on right now, he couldn't afford it. You find an $88 billion corporation. So why did they get him if he if he didn't? Okay. 
Well, they got him, but then they looked at, okay, who, who, this is what you got to remember. They got him for what reason? What white people buying some liquor cause this nigga, cause this nigga drank it. That liquor was the black people. You, you right, you right. Yep. After that withdrew the lawsuit in that case, and he had to give back and they walked off. Cause they broke him. They have broke him in all these lawsuits. He, he could not afford to fight him. They drained him. He ain't did, let me tell you something. He ain't did nothing that all the rest of them entertainers ain't done. Facts. And I ain't, I ain't justifying nothing he done. They sick. All of them are sick. All of them rappers are sick. Mm -hmm. All of them actors are sick. Mm -hmm. But they're coming after the black actors when they start. Look, think about it. All of them got a liquor brand. Um, Drake, Drake had St. Eyes before all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, Easy E came out first time out he was an eight ball junkie. He here old English 800 sell beer before any of them guy got a look up. For any of them guy, Beastie Boy pushed Brass Monkey, that funky monkey. Okay. He got Chirac. He made them a lot of money. They made him a billionaire. But his liquor could have gone up and it could have been pushed to other, other uh, nationality. But they decided they bought Judge Clooney brand. Judge Clooney, they bought that for 400 some million dollars, according to what they're saying. So now they were pushing that brand. I forgot the name of the plant they were supposed to they, they plant for to make the tequila. They hadn't even planted it for him. They only planted it for George Clooney. So he got mad about it. He said, when you got a business and you got partners, you had to go and check on them sometime. He said, so I sent my people down there to check on them. They right. hadn't planted anything for him. He said, nor they even had plans to even push his look anymore. They were looking at this real urban. That's for black people. Mm. They always give you something different than they get to other people. Mm. Your look is going to be used to sell, sell well in a, in a more uh, impoverished neighborhood. Well, you're going to be a bigger spender than those people. You're going to buy it to look like something you're in the ghetto. And I'm going to give you a higher content of alcohol. What you going to brag on? Man, I was on climbing out. Nigga was zooted. Nigga was tore up. And that's how they get you. So they create your poison to kill you. Now you're unconscious. You can't remember nothing. You're so high. Well, you drive and kill somebody. You get in a party. You get to find what you do. You shoot somebody. Yep. You so high, so drunk, you wind up, you a man, you slept with another man. Yeah. So the looker had made them plenty of money. Yeah. It's helped with the prison system. It's helped, you know, it's helped them a lot of ends. That's true. So, you know, people people really not conscious of how dangerous these corporations are. So there haven't been anybody really stamp these people. If you do, they're gonna take you down. It's, they got too many people that's with them. Y'all gotta remember these people. When you got eighty-eight billion dollars, you put people in office. Yeah. You control politics. Oh, a lot of people. That's true. So when you start running your mouth talking about you gonna sue me, and you're love to me. You just a monkey. Hmm. I only have you because you look at Red Ross got what Bel Air. Who white folks not drinking Bel Air? Who you think he pushing that to? They're going to associate Bel Air with what? California. Bel Air is a rich area in California. So if I'm drinking Bel Air, oh, it's like I'm rich, but you're going to be living where? In the hood. So I'm going to get this look of soul to you. I need to think about this. The rich white people not drinking that stuff. Rich white people buying high end liquor. Mm -hmm. This is a liquor where I put a name on it and I brand it to sell to black people to make them feel like, oh, come on, my ambassadors. And I'm not blaming the rent. I'm just telling you, most of these guys don't realize how they're being used. They use you to sell the poison to our people. Listen, you know how they got AIDS in our neighborhoods? Prostitution. Ah. Oh. Notice what you don't see a lot on, on the street now. Prostitution. But that's how they got into our neighborhood. The guys are going to come in. The guys get wrecked. They sleep with them without the corrupt condom. They get the AIDS and they take it back home and they give it to their wives. They give it to their girlfriends. I put prostitution in your neighborhood. When I wipe them out, look at look at the condition what your people are in now. Now you're homosexual. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm telling you, listen, man. It's too easy to destroy people because they don't listen. I try to talk to my people. People don't listen. They don't want to know. Because once you know, then you become responsible. 
Yeah. Like, I try to get people to think. Mm -hmm. Think how they beat you. The government cheese, you don't have that no more either, do you? Mm -hmm. Who is Bon B? Mm -hmm. that Bon B is going through a dispute with his oh. Russian oh. heated face, but he's not getting the money. I don't know who is Bon B. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that is either. Mm -hmm. oh, that. that was good though, Wayne. Appreciate you bring it because I, I hadn't seen it and I'm yeah. Yeah. just oh, yeah. why? He ain't never brought nothing to the show. Listen, we just had a always correct here information. Yeah, the white girl, she done killed 19 people. The way that's clickbait and, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that makes us, he's making us um, pay attention. <laughs> he's a Texas rapper, Ra. Uh, okay. She's saying it's a he oh, a Texas he's a rapper. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Oh, I ain't never heard of him, y'all. No, I think nobody really ain't heard no music of him either. So he ain't, he ain't that big. He ain't nobody. He been to AP. No, he ain't nobody. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. Oh wow. yeah, oh yeah. But all y'all been doing pretty good though this week and all. Congratulations again to you, Tula. Always good seeing you. Let me tell you something. I had something to that. Oxtail pasta out there. Yeah. Any of y'all craving some oxtail pasta? Let me tell you, that thing right there is good. Oh my goodness. And she couldn't get light. I have allergies, so I can't eat it. Um, so she's able to cater things to my allergy. I appreciate that. I appreciate Who made that. you? Oh. Um, clickbait. Remember, I just told y'all clickbait. <laughs> I didn't have a clickbait, okay? Uh, there's a guy, there's a um a, a lady, okay? And uh, she has, let's see. I think I know who you're talking about. Yes, the bearded lady. He's crazy. The Have bearded lady is a man. Preacher, oh. look at this woman. Tony. Have you seen Have you seen the video too? Um I haven't seen the I haven't you got the video why on why he talking oh, what's right there. Okay, so the video on YouTube, on YouTube why not? Go ahead. Right. It's right there. Uh, I don't see a video on this page. I don't say it's some old. Oh, yeah, it there it is. Yeah. I just scrolled down and just found it. Yeah, we, I was we, saw, it too. we, we saw it too. I was going to marry you, her now. Like, you have a beard. No one's going to date you, her. You have a beard. No one's going to be your boyfriend, her now. You have a beard. You are not a preference to a lot of men. And then so I'll get, um, like, really feminine men message me, but that's not who I'm attracted to, mm -hmm. I know? I like really masculine men, because I am, I am very soft. Uh, I'm so different to what you see, like, on TV, you know, on TV. Oh, I've never seen you on TV. I mean, yeah. not, but no, generally, you'll see, oh, she's strong, she's, you know, what she's talking about is very powerful, whatever people say. But then at home, I'm very quiet. You know, I'm, I'm very feminine, I'm very soft. People don't get to see that side of me, you know? Um, but no, it has been difficult. Where I wanted to be married and have kids, I would never be a single mom. That's not what I've ever wanted. Okay, so she has the, she has the distinct honor of being in the Guinness Book of World Records in 2017. She holds that record. For the youngest female with a full beard. She is a, she is a motivational speaker and she suffers from PCOS, polycystic ovary ovary syndrome. Sorry. So she's very hairy. So it causes <laughs> facial hair in women. And she is choosing, like I said, because she's in the you know. Guinness Book of World Records, she's choosing to continue to wear her beard and let it grow. And she want to know why no man want to talk to her? Manly man, preacher. Manly man. Masculine man. A homosexual man I talk with, yeah. Yes. Yes. She said that the soft men are, you know, who she's who she's um, attracting 
but she wants a manly man because she's very feminine she's very quiet and she's very soft but when you see her you don't see that so that's why um those soft men come to her, you know try to step to her mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's crazy mm -hmm, yeah <laughs> this world is just crazy upside down she's very feminine you know she she wants to she can imagine. wear near it's stuff she can wear and give her it's near she can put on and keep that off her face yeah so, because she, she does that. have a, i'm guessing she has a hormonal issue but she can right. take that hair out of her face like no. this yeah, but she instead she can kind of she she like playing that game of who want to get what man what masculine man woman a masculine man they, 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 <laughs> Man, you gotta tell your old lady, man, she need to shave her mustache get in your mouth. Man, man. A whole wig on her face. Like it looks, <laughs> it looks horrible. Yeah. I don't know what even what feminine man will be attracted to a female with that beard like that. But masculine man. No, she, she said feminine men are attracted to her. Oh yeah, I'm saying ain't no masculine man. That, they're like, man, I ain't gonna work with her. Them guys like, man, no, it's no way you tell me you were her and you tell me you ain't in the men. They, they show them up, you know, right? You know, yeah, that ain't your first time with nobody. No fear that it's your role. I don't know what happened with females growing their hairs nowadays. There's another girl with hairs under her armpits. Now this girl, I don't know what's going on. Listen, then, Joe, I teach y'all to grow up under your armpit. What? That's no, actually health. That's a health in rid of a woman. That's actually defense. Yeah, it's true. You did tell, but she grows hair, her chest, her armpits, her legs. Oh, her chest. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I think hair on a like woman. Like, like, men. Wait a minute. Hold on. What you say? Hair on the woman leg. I ain't never thought that was. Now her hair roll up like like a nigga, like bald head hair. You know what I'm saying? No, no. Wait, 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 hold legs. on. Let's go back to you said what on your hairs on the legs? A woman that now that nappy ball of hair like Kevin Durant on her leg. No, that man, she's sick. But little hairs are okay. Not, little hair, like woman having hair like down there. I thought it, I always thought it was nice and pretty, especially had on stocking. What? Yeah, a woman with hair on there. I ain't never thought that was ugly. I don't know. What about you, Dwayne? You thought it was always gross. I ain't never thought that was gross. Oh, you hear him? It, 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 it ain't the one place where the hair is okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, I, already, I don't know about y'all old school. Fam. I don't know. You know, you know I, I, I take whatever I can get. Though. I take whatever I can get. It, whatever I get, I take. You that way you at too? I bet you will. I mean, I ain't never thought a woman like him. Her legs were ugly. No, I ain't never thought that. Oh, yeah. I ain't saying that she got that Kevin Durant hair up, some ball up like nigga never had on her leg. No. You know what? Well, anyway, like, like, this is so crazy. I'm trying to see if I got hair on it. Well, pokey hairs are okay. No, like no. ball head legs. Yeah. I, I never have hair on my leg. That's crazy, but I haven't. But now you know he's attracted to that pokey hair. Like my hair, I'm put some. Uh, pokey hair. I don't know why the one have pokey hair. I see women have like hair on their legs. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't never thought that. They're pokey when they they have little oh, hair. Oh, 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 oh. Stay away from my husband because he like. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> no, no, no. I got what I like. No, but I mean, I said I never thought that was ugly. I did not know that. That is so crazy. People like something that I don't have. Thank you. Wow. And I, I never even thought. So, wait. So, Tula, you never had to shave yours or anything? Never, never, never. Mm -mm. That's amazing. Wow. Mm -mm. Bull headed legs. Yes. That's how it should be, though. I think it should be bull headed legs. Oh man, that is something else. I don't think no. You just better have to get hairs and crazy glue for me. <laughs> yes, we well, cut his hair, put it on my leg. <laughs> oh, you know, there are some men that do not like any hair whatsoever. So men, that's true. Some areas. That's very true. But beard. That's it. Beard is it's it's manly. <clears throat> That's true. Everybody ain't able, Miss Tool. Girl, that is so funny. Wow. That is so funny. 
How about uh, you, know, know, you like hairs and likes too? Something that's real funny. I want to show y'all something real funny. Can I take one moment and show y'all something real, real funny? Is that okay, Dr. Joe? And then we can come back? Yeah. All right. Where you going? Why are you dark? Oh, there you go. Y'all in that cash out. That's how we need to do. We ain't talking about a cash out. Come on. Keep back some money from the land. But what they didn't know, they could lie to the Holy Ghost. And they let a little money get them down. And I'm begging you, don't let a little money get you down. Don't you, don't you, don't you let it get you down. Yeah. Hey, y'all smash that yeah. like button. So hit that like button, smash it so that thing can get out there. Yeah. Tell me your friend, hit your friend, call the neighbor, call a friend, tell him, smash that like button, hit that camera. Yeah, want to send a hit special shout camera. out to Confederate 48. Yeah, I said, nephew yeah, E, man. definitely want to remember y'all. Y'all, some of my long time listeners. Oh, yeah, so many. Definitely want to say a special hello to all y'all viewers and watchers to call me and us from day one all the way back to the uh, <clears throat> the uh, blog talk radio days. Want to just say hello. We went back, we went back, we went back. And I want to congratulate Tuli because there's an anniversary approaching. Tuli, do you remember? Do you remember when you started Blog Talk Radio? Yo, you remember yo. when you started your show? You just reached another anniversary and say congratulations. What is it? You know that, Tuli? What is it exactly? Tuli knows. Go ahead, Tuli. Talk about it. She looked like she really don't know. I haven't. She mm-hmm. help me. This your anniversary. You've been on for another year. When? When exactly? Yeah, when, so we, uh, when? when is it? It's around this time in April. I, I, it's around this time in April. I, I I have to find that out. But we well, have. Well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I've been accused of misreporting stuff. So oh, hold on, right. hold on. Let me let me let me say hold on. Let me say hold on. Let me go back and let me verify if it's not in April. Let me go back and verify it. Let me go back. But I feel like in my mind it was around sometime around this time, but I could be wrong. Let me go back and double check. You're usually wrong. You're usually wrong. But that's fine. And it's a we. It's not a me. There's no I in team. I have a team. I like that. So we be we be saying the story wrong. That's what I'm talking about. We be doing it. That's right. Ain't a week. No, ain't no, no. Hold on. Hell, I like that. I like ain't that. No, I, ain't, ain't no I. Hey, listen, ain't no I and team, but that's an M and an E. Shaking my head. <clears throat> it's me. And it's a T. L L. Just playing. But we oh, definitely man. have have some um some things that are in the works. So just want to let you guys know before we go. Um, for our um donations that we have received we have a great of something planned something very excited for you guys for the donations to help those um kids that are being sex trafficked or have um uh, um survived that also. have survived so we are we have some big things in, in work so we are super excited we're just work, working out some of the kinks with it and we will present it to you coming up. Y'all want it. Yep. Yeah, y'all inspired us to go a little deeper, a little further, um, and really try to um go out and really try to help these kids out after watching that movie and really seeing just how you know traumatic that whole situation is with them. We decided not just talk about it, to, um be about it. And play, yeah, be about it. So you guys will definitely know about it uh, once it all surfaces up and get you know completed but i'm mean, gonna definitely be something to be for the kids to definitely help them out yeah. um, the kids that have been molested uh being abused you know um sexually however you know definitely report it our kids deserve better um they, that's ties man that's a difference you know well, oh i don't believe the kids being well well that's you and that's why we losing something our kids need to be desperate they could be desperate without breaking something Without killing them and mule whipping them and beating them, but they definitely need to be, you know, corporate punishment, whether law or not, it's your kid, that's your future. And mm-hmm. you spending your money time, you should, you know, 
be willing to look at, you know, doing things that are necessary to curb behaviors in order to keep them from, you know, from you and them, you know, having major losses like that little Caucasian girl. Now her parent has had her parent has to look at now. I don't know what type of parent they were. Sometimes kids go straight and they got good parents. But if they weren't or she wasn't, she gotta look at it. she plays the part of why her daughter's now in a coma. Because you don't hear you're gonna join gang, gonna go on the street, you're gonna fight. You gotta look at man, you know, so many people you're going to fight, it ain't going the way you're thinking. So many kids keep knives on them. I mean, come on here, guys had knives, guns. Yeah. So some people ain't taking a weapon. I made a mistake. They're not taking a weapon. You know, you're gonna take an L, they're not taking it. So you really have to decide for yourself if that's what you want to do. Yes. So I, I, again, it's it's very unfortunate because that's that's a kid. You know, people can look at oh, she's a white crack. Well, man, come on. Hey, get over yourself. At some point, let's let's get bigger than the situation. They are, they're all our kids. You know, white people gonna love their kids like we gonna love our kids. So let's just be honest. Everybody love their kids, okay? Mm-hmm. They, don't, they don't love our kids. Where's your kid? You love them. Don't, don't stop worrying about somebody's love. You love them. They do the right thing. Make sure you win more. Make sure you tell them, teach them right, teach them the difference between right and wrong. Let them see you as a role model so they can start making better decisions. Bro. If we don't get that down, we're done. I mean, we pretty much have almost uh, extinguished ourselves. Wow, you just got to think about the hands that you're going to fall into. Are these the hands you want to fall into? Yeah, they're going to they miss you. Your young kids ain't going to hold you. You fall, you want to, you hit the ground. We got we to do better. And yeah. the way they are, we definitely working. You know, we on our kids, you know. And no, they, they got problems. These kids in general got problems. It's bigger than just the way y'all kids. There's kids yeah. everywhere. These kids are dealing with, you know, you're dealing with the normal things of, you know, sex, you know, you know, those those your body's transforming, especially 13. Body transforming, girls getting their menstrual, boys getting away, you know, they can ejaculate. So all this going on, everybody and everything is so sexual. You know, it's even more sexual now. And you know, now what they do. While the kid hormones are, you know, at 1,000, you throw the same sex in front of it. Mm-hmm. You know, if an animal get hungry, no, it'll kill its own and eat it. That mm-hmm. animal, you know, yeah, animal get hungry, they'll eat their own. So what you think happens when you get a person when they get so, you 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 elevate their sexual level so high to peak. Now the only thing they have to sleep with or the uh, you have attraction with is the same sex. There are a lot of things that they're doing to drive these kids. We were coming along. It wasn't even an issue. Elementary? Oh, it's the boy I like. Are you serious? They're, they're driving these kids. They're creating these narratives. That's why they give them the books. That's why they get in the conversation. That's why they have the homosexuals reading to them. That's why they have the books to these teachers. They are basically using elementary. You would think about in first, second grade, a boy you like doing. No, I don't about no No. <laughs> None of us no, even. Oh, now, 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 girl, girls was after me now. Now, girls, they, they was after me. Well, I mean, oh, I, can see that okay. I can see that because he was the same height as the bottom of their dress. They like, you look on my dress. Where you at? Come here, I'm looking for you. Hey, hey don't kill. get mad because they chose me at an early age. Yo, oh. you, they told you, you said they told you you had AIDS. Now, that's something. That's, that's <laughs> a whole thing. Yeah. 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 You, 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 you let the record reflect. You heard, you heard my sisters and my mama come on here and they told the truth. You heard from the root to the fruit now. Well, now what listen, we that's how sisters you know, are. That's grandma. Well, listen, oh, no y'all heard. Heard. you paid them. Nobody gonna oh, listen. Y'all heard. Nobody, listen not, you know, not, not, at. Matter of fact, last night while you were preaching, you heard the truth again last night. So hey, what again. truth? And yeah. he heard it last night. He heard the truth. Somebody keeps on saying he's a genius and he believes it. Listen again. Resident Joe, you're in the field. Sometimes in order to get your patient to get better, you have to encourage it. What You know why I found out where he was last night? She wow. has a graduation. It's now an issue where, is it not true? You cannot have long-term patient. The goal is to graduate them, right? Right. So oh, look, now the goal is, the goal is to get made to that prom. It ain't about graduating, it's about that prom. Really? Yeah, you did. I tell you what, but you get that. He, but, she but. realized that preacher that she he she couldn't graduate him, so mm-hmm. therefore created a prom and is going to have a long term, um, patient for the rest of her life. That's right. 
I agree. Here go, here go my thing. It's room at the top for everybody, okay? It's enough light up here for everybody to shine, okay? Y'all don't got to put my light out just for y'all to shine. Listen, it's enough room here at the top for everybody. Don't try to diminish my light, okay? Don't you don't, don't shine on. You know why I got on I got on shade because my future's so bright. I gotta wear shade. Ooh, now, yes, sir. That's original. <laughs> That's a real. We never heard that before. Maybe I made it until first time ever. First time. Oh boy, I tell you, keep coming with them. Yes. Yeah. As long as as long as you guys are happy, it don't it doesn't matter. So hold on. That statement he just made remind me of that Mexican restaurant, something they had I was going to eat. That let me know that was not his. Nachos. So we all know you made that saying, that's nachos. I appreciate you. I, I, I'm working with his comedy. Y'all stay there. Just continue to hit the cash out. We working on his comedy routine. He getting better. Listen, listen, uh, ra -ah, on the comedy, every joke is not going to win, but I don't want you to give up. You gotta have short term memory. So forget you ever said that, and you come back with some email. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness! He can't do another laugh. Look, he can't do another laugh at that. Let's laugh it at you, right, Ron? Damn, crazy stuff. You can't eat so smug. <laughs> Y'all know what? It's the hard. Nigga, it's hard out here. Listen. Tune in your scene too. Tune huh? I'm a natural. That's so funny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can take my show on the road. Exactly. That he's sassy. Yeah. Listen. I gonna get him them checks. I appreciate y'all, but but I gotta take a uh, break if you know what I mean. Uh, that well, time, go. Listen, I gotta go. Uh, I gotta, listen, I got gout. I'm down in my sinuses. I got a bunch attacking me at one time, but I want to be here. I want to go and support Tulin. I think she's a great commissioner. Uh, yes, yes, sir. I Absolutely. That joke coming out. I don't just say that. Uh, I, I had an opportunity to say a few words to some of the people that would like to spoke to um, all of them for they left. But I encourage those of you um, as well, wherever, whatever city, county mm -hmm. you're in, Find out what's going on because if you live there, everything in your city and your county affects you. To continue to live blindly, to live blindly there is basically for you to be a part of the problem. These people only exist, these bad people in positions just like the presidency, um, bad people in the Congress, bad people in the Senate, because we, the people, tend to say, well, blanket, all of them terrible, so what's the difference? Then we have to build people, find people that we can mold and shape that can address our issue. No one person will fix every problem, but little by little, if you pay attention to how the homosexual agenda has gotten as far as that, it was not a fight that they did overnight. This has been a long calculated fight, and they have surpassed the plight of the Negro. Mm -hmm. now, they were the real minority. The homosexual they were the real minority. Look, they own Hollywood. They own entertainment sports. They own the Olympics. Yeah. Think about it. What don't they own? They got to sell everything. <clears throat> they own the crosswalk. They have the second, second to third largest flag after the United States flag. Their flag is more prominent than the Confederate flag, mm -hmm. the Christian flag. These people have established themselves. They put themselves in the role first homosexual person on the Supreme Court. They did it quicker than we did in the so-called Negro. Right. Yeah. Highest ranking homosexual open person, person in first home in Congress, <clears throat> in the Senate. <clears throat> These people have constantly evolved because they learn how to attack it and just start placing people in place. Just like we tell people, and I told um Tula, she and I talk. And right there should just be one person. There are two other people. Once they see that the people have spoken and you made that one change, the other two will have to look at the people are tired. It's time to remove these people and put people in here. That's going to be for people, white people, Bad. black people, Hispanic people. That's, you can't represent a county or city and just represent one way. I don't care. I'm I'm for my people. They say, I'm, 
but you, that's not fair. You got to be for fair. That's to make listen. There are things that are owed to the so-called Negro, but you can't disenfranchise. If we do what you want us to do, then we're doing the same thing he did. Mm. And where was he wrong at? We saying, we're, I'm saying, truly believes that we can get the agenda done at the same time without disenfranchising people. We can't say, well, F the whites, F the Hispanic, F the Chinese, F, no. We all live here. Every person got a right to it. And you got to just make it where things are fair. And our people need, it needs to be on a competitive end. We have not been on a real competitive end. We always been at a disadvantage end. Look at where a lot of our greats have come from what? Single parent homes, projects, drug environments. Look where most of our greats come from. Always disadvantaged situations. Very few have inspired from coming from what? Two parent home, great, both parents, College graduated, ill, you know, well educated, you know, uh, making uh, uh, financially, you know, state. I ain't saying we haven't, but where have our greats come from? Mm -hmm. HBCU, smaller university, they ain't come from from Duke and Yale and come from Harvard. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, a lot of them came from smaller colleges, and then they moved up. Tule Roots was a black college. HBCU, then finished university, then going to other universities. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of other universities she's attending and gone to, but where, you, where we typically start from. That's right. So mm -hmm. you have to look at how important it is. I'm going to let y'all go. How important it is for us to get involved and know what's going on in your area. Yeah, absolutely. That's how, this is how we get control, man. You have a voice. And that's what we're offering to people things. Well, you know, you think, man, I'm trying to go to work. I'm just trying to make it. Look at what you're saying, and, but you're living somewhere, and where you live at is a hellhole. Your taxes, there's so many things you've been manipulated out of. There are health programs that are missing in your community if something happened to you. And you say, oh, well, I don't need it. Today you don't, but why you think these? Let me say that if I go. Okay. Counties and cities have programs instituted. Why? Because you can't take tax money from people and things not be available, like um, uh, free clinics, uh, police departments, uh, fire departments, uh, homeless shelters, food pantry. These are not luxuries. These are something that your tax dollars set aside because you are a person that lives in this community. And these are things set aside if something happened to you. And if something happened to you, you don't want to find out then when I was up, I had a voice. This could have been better prepared. They know that money's weren't set aside. This is not being met. These goals, there are things for your kids. There are other things. There are, there are things that are better. Older people, they need these centers. When they get old, somewhere they can go that, hey, they can exercise. You think, oh, but you're young now, but you're not going to be young forever. A lot of people can't afford to pay for personal training. And these people need somewhere to go. They retire, they have nowhere to go but stay home and die. And they look at them fixed income, so their money doesn't allot them to be able to go in other places. And there are places that are set up for them, a senior citizen center, where these people can go and be free and, and have help and can meet other seniors and they can desire to keep living instead of just die because nobody's here for me. So why you think it's small now? Keep living. Everybody that you know that's old in those old folk homes, all those people you know that's old in them seen since at home, they used to be you, nigga. That's white, black, and Chinese. And Spanish. quit being stupid. That's right. And you know what? To, to add on to what you said about that, a lot of services that are available for people in different counties actually come from nonprofit organizations. These organizations, they come together and they provide services that the counties don't provide. Even here in Rockdale County, people will say, well, why don't they have, you know, why don't they have And that is because they use the money elsewhere. But if it was not for different organizations and um, people wouldn't have Rockdale, Rockdale um, organization. That's a separate organization. It had nothing to do with the county. This is just the goodness of people's heart that donate 
money, donate uh, clothes, the stores around, the different businesses around, they actually fund and have those things available for the citizens here in Rockdale County. If they didn't exist, then we wouldn't have it. Just like now, we just had this tornado. Um, that's that's the resource for the people that need food, need clothes. It's the Rockdale uh, Emergency Relief Fund. It's not the county. Yeah. The people that are feeding those people, these people now for that the the tornado victims, it's not the county. It's the Red Cross. It's not a county facility that's um, allowing them to come and get their food or whatever. It's not that. It's a church. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, different churches, different people that say, okay, we'll open our doors today and allow you to feed people. We'll allow the Red Cross to use this facility to feed people. No, it's not your, no, it's not your county facility. No, your tax dollars are not being used to help the citizens here in Rockdale County. It is our nonprofit organizations that are lending a hand, even the Red Cross people who are, have nothing to do with Rockdale County. And, and, and I'll say this again, this with all the counties, and it needs to be a push that county funds are set aside to take care of county residents, city residents. It makes no sense that people who buy homes in those counties, whether they go spend money, the bulk of their taxes are spent there, hmm. which pay for services there. Money should be set aside for help for people because you pay that. That's old to you. I mean, come on, you put your money in there. And if we don't require you better, then these counties are not going to do better. They'll create their own fund. We need a skateboard park. That's the dumbest thing I heard. We skateboard kids up behind the street. I don't care about no skateboard, man. Listen, we like we I need a bike park. You we had one, it's in the street. If you had a circle in your street, that's where you rode your bike. You don't need no park. This is no one took their kid. No, who who do you remember your dad take you to the park to ride a bike, Dwayne? What about you, Bob? You remember your dad to take you to the park with your bike? And with your right, skateboard. right out there in front of the road by the mailbox. <laughs> Yeah, that is when you took your bike to the family reunion when you drove to the country. That's when I took my road, my bike. That's when I rode a park in a park when we had a family reunion at a park. That's it. Oh, y'all actually went to y'all family reunion? Oh, everybody. yeah. Oh, you didn't what? go? <laughs> that, no, he got to have I didn't know what a family reunion was until I seen it on TV. <laughs> you got no, but you got about five or six of y'all got together. No, I didn't know we, you we know. We might have, I might have been to maybe one, one family reunion. One on my daddy's side, one on my mama's side. Maybe once. Let me share that, this. That's pretty much about it, though. Let me share this. Okay. Even with um, the people. I, say, I, I don't think I should say what I was going to say. Don't worry about it. Okay. No, say it. Hello? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Your daddy gotta be shaming some kids. You don't want to take some crap for you. What is that? He said his dad has seven kids. His dad has seven kids. Shame. I said, your daddy got to be shaming your kids when you don't want to take them to the fair reunion. You saying? I tell you what, when I did go to one of them, I do it with my family reunion because everybody looked like look like them little small, look, you, you know, little small flow model TVs. That whole bunch of flow models. Hey, short and wide. They were short and wide like them flow model TVs. <laughs> 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 He said, he said, he said, he was at Circuit City. <laughs> I remember Circuit City. <laughs> My daddy put a TV on that way for three months in Circuit City. City. He probably heard it. I broke it the next day. Oh, but the next day? <laughs> I bet he beat the piss out you. Man, listen, man. Yeah, my daddy bought that TV. He had that knob that you could pull in and out. All phone, all phone. Yeah. He told me, say, boy, if you break that knob, I'm going to break my mind. And you I broke that knob. You are a bad, you a bad child, man. He probably did on purpose. going to do it on purpose, too. I know you did Why are you doing it intentionally? Yeah, you did. Let me tell you. Oh, we had one of them TV. When it tore up, sometimes the knob won't work to cut it on out. We had to unplug it. You had to plug it on the white TV. Yep, yep. 
<laughs> now that's when you're your last lead. I remember that. Y'all remember that? We had one of them. You had to unplug it and cut off. Like you unplug it, then you plug it back. It wasn't cut off. He said unplug the thing. Then you plug it up to watch TV. I, I, I didn't grow up poor. I, I don't know. I, I think all of us. I think all of us. I think all of us had a situation where we let our parents down up to the point of disgust. One of them would dare you. When that man tore, when that man took that book of his dad, yeah. he, he, kicked that, he kicked that windshield like that front of that car. Yeah. His sister did it. That sister oh, took that book, <laughs> wrote that book, so he got that book, he was in the car, he said, I know this ain't my book. He took his foot, stuck it on his on the dashboard, knocked the door, and kicked the windshield. Yeah. I said, what happened? He said, my mom didn't look like that was stupid. Now you got to pay and put a number in him. He just got to lose it. Deal with it later. Oh, man. I, I can I, see I, that the way you drive I think, here. I think, I think mine, when my daddy took me to college for the first time, and he saw that PlayStation come out that bag, he lost it. He lost he it. <laughs> <laughs> what did he, he, he say? You didn't get him. I ain't seen him. He ain't come here to play. All right. Yeah, he, and he lost it. He said, I want you to get it in your head and he hit his head with his head. Get it in your head. <laughs> <laughs> he hit your head with a great sister. <laughs> he hit your head with a great I like sister. Your, I like your dad. <laughs> what are you doing yeah, about you like like that? Like that. He hit you with the PlayStation. No, no, oh, he took his hand and hit his whole head. Oh, yeah. He hit his whole head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he hit his whole head. Yeah, he hit his whole head. Yeah, he told me to get it in your head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought he had to take the PlayStation and hit you in the head. No, no, no. no. Oh, man. man. <laughs> Listen, man, when you're a parent, man, it's so much. Especially when you look at, you know, like Dwayne, you don't see that, you know, you become a parent. It's a marvel world. When you look at all the stuff you've done, all the stuff you got away with. Uh, so, you know what I'm saying? Why don't all your family is, is small? Hey, yeah, your, your, your future smile too. She smiled. I don't believe it. Everybody's short. <laughs> let me, let me, let me. Let, you let know what happened? It was just a question. It was just a question. Let me tell you something. I want all y'all to hear this too. I yeah. want all y'all to hear this. Let, let me say this one Be thing. And I want all y'all to hear this. Be respectful. Hit it or hear it. My parents. Were the absolute best parents in the world. Um, I really do feel like I had the best parents in the world as far as them giving to me, providing to me, all the stuff they've done. My parents were literally kids and teenagers when they had me, and they actually offered me the best gift you, I believe a parent could ever give to a child, and that is showing a good, healthy marriage of how a man and a woman should operate. They really have done that over the test of time, and they'll be uh celebrating their uh 44th anniversary in a few more months. So I definitely want to salute my parents. Y'all really, really been absolutely great That's beautiful. That's all right. That's that all right. is beautiful. That is so beautiful. That really is. How old are your parents? In their 60s? <clears throat> Wait out. No. I'm doing the math in my head. I'm doing the math just in my head. That, that man, you did a terrible job. That uh, is 61. That's it? Wow, like, they yeah, really I know good. exactly. <laughs> hey, I remember going to PTA meetings with the teachers, and they was like, You gotta have your parents. Then I was like, That's my mama right there. It's like, That's not your mama. It's like, I thought that was your big sister. Oh, I heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was just like a few weeks ago. <laughs> <clears throat> they didn't know, no, fuck. I guarantee, you, did you have your scarf? On? <laughs> what, Tony? Tuli, I like your hair. I like your style. Okay, I like your yeah, hair. Yeah, cause, cause, cause you got all that gray hair. Your hair, you look like you, you about fifty five. Exactly. Yep. Who, who? Hold on, you're not, you're not finna dis. You're not finna talk to me like that. Not all the rolls in your head. I be going up and down the hill. Like rock and roll, I eat more. Don't talk about my hair. Hey. Don't do that. Hey, I take I take these roads and look at like I'm, I'm about to get social security. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely got yeah, he about to have it. He about to have it in day too. Y'all ain't right. Y'all ain't right. You know he better hope he can do it. That, that man look like he about to get Medicare A, B, and C. Every side of 
Hey, I know. Listen, I know he better do that night. Listen, you better go back to that Tupac song. You know with one, ain't it? <laughs> oh yeah. Keep your head up. Ooh, child. Don't, get, don't get in there and flunk out now. The guy all over Asian school get in flunk oh, yeah. out. Y'all done took an uh, easy going conversation about family. Y'all done spit it to that yeah. good time animated cartoon. See, if people uh, like y'all, we, we can make that good time this. animated cartoon. We got to try to make you get in that now. You don't get in there. No, no, no. You saw Columbus. Get back in there. You get back in there. 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 You didn't, listen, man, I'm telling you now, you didn't do 500. Man, I got to go. I got to use the bathroom. I yeah, got to go. Yeah. 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 go. I got to go. I got to go to the beauty of though. Make sure you do. You need to do 500 crunches every night, like coming up that month. I'm telling you, man, get them air tight, but you get in there, man. You don't want to let them down. Get in there. Get back in there, Charles. Get back in there, man. I got to get in there. He, he broke out that Christian song, I Surrender All. Don't do it right then. Get some time. The way you gotta lift up your shield now. Go on there, lift up your shield. 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 Lift up <laughs> yeah, when that <laughs> he ain't gonna see early too. Oh, but you done. Let me tell you something. What? What but if you I? Get to, but you got to move. Yeah, that 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 I, I, I know what it is, but you, you better not pull you know that turtle head out of there. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is what I said. <laughs> that turtle already dead. Don't you get in that other turtle. Hey, 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 this, this is man's material right here. This is man's material. I, 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 I know what that is, but that other turtle head better come out and do some work. Nah, I know everybody. Right. <laughs> <laughs> turtle head up, right back in. Ain't got to make that thing to shoot out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, y'all totally inappropriate. Oh my God, I'm, not totally inappropriate. I'm not stupid down to y'all love. I'm not doing it. Please don't go. Please don't go. Hey, the tortoise in the house. Man, you better listen, man. We're trying to help you out, man. You listen. Listen, I'm telling you now. You need to go on that now and start running that hill. Wide over there. Run that hill. Walk back down. Run that hill. 500 crunching. So you, man, you, you had an L got to be tight. And you walk right in that man like that and part it and go straight back in there like that. That's done. You ain't got to worry about it. If she like you, then y'all can work through it. That's, That's right. That's really cool. If she not like long, you. Hey, hey, well, if y'all speaking from experience, not, I appreciate it. She, she, no, she, she's not. Good. She ain't listen. She ain't spending around. Sound like, sound like they speaking from experience. I appreciate it. Hey, nah, nah. Hey, nah, hey look at it. Hey, look here. Hey, the way. Ain't no experience over here, but I tell you what, though. If you get that thing out the way within that five seconds, you better be ready to come back in there. That's get all back you got to do, y'all. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to be ready to get, get back in that car. Oh, no, you ain't talking. You have to be ready to get back in that car. Don't you let them do you like that. that Don't do you like that. Don't you let me be like that. Get back in that car. Listen. <laughs> oh, you got to go back in that. Listen. Free game. Free game. Very important. We're trying, I'm trying to tell you, man. You're, listen, this is the, don't go into all that plan either. And you know you can't make it. Don't, don't go all that plan. This time, what about four places? Listen, tell you, listen how, you know, the best way you come in about a warm up, got your little, you know, got your warm up, then run. Everybody just shooting around a little bit. Yeah. Then try to rip it out the back. Don't do none of that. Just come on in the game plan. Come straight, it, out that, come straight out of your tighty whitey man and that white. I know he probably got, he probably got, yeah. if he, if he got that white beater. I made that unarmed prop come all the way down. That, that <laughs> that thing, Please don't wear that one. Please don't wear tighty man. And then I'm telling you what, man, what's a new tighty whitey? If you wear the one and it got that drop safe part down that ball and it hit your leg, please bring some new drawers. Tighten up on that backstroke. Yeah, new draw, man. He's gonna give her a 
got dads and everything. He's ready. Well, he ain't no. He ain't got, if you listen, man, if you ain't got all that, if you ain't got all that, don't be trying to listen. You don't owe nobody nothing. Just go straight. Let just go straight in. That's it. That's it. Okay, okay. Cause you gotta make every listen, man. You gotta make every second count. Yeah. Look, he has a little dance. Show him, show him, show him, show him a little dance. Him. You get him. Just get him when you can. Go ahead, do go ahead, you got to out like that. You had to come in on an aeroplane. Do it. Show him your little dance. Show him. You had to come in at the Wayne the Lane. She don't the care way. how you get there. The way you got you, you got approval to go ahead and get that TP two R Kelly. Make it past the first song. <laughs> there I hear the valley between us. Oh, it's so oh, 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 my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. We gotta have listen. Don't hey. get no draw. Make sure your draw fit around your leg. I'm telling you. That's right, man. You come out that man and your leg small and your draw. Man, ain't gonna yeah. hurt. Man, yeah. gonna be the same, man. Hey, be the same. Get, hey, you, I, get a, I get a, appreciate get a y'all in this opportunity. Yeah, get it small. Uh, two yeah, yeah, get a smaller. Get, 11 get a smaller years. tank top. Yeah, Dwayne, yeah. Get a yeah. nice and yeah. 11 years. We appreciate Dwayne, you. We're talking, Dwayne. Dwayne, Dwayne, shut up. We give you words and words of life, man. A lot of y'all done. Shut your mouth. On that note, I'm going to go ahead. I'm about to head on that. I want to say how funny y'all. Get a little. Enjoy the show. Y'all guys keep up the great work. You can't grow You can't grow till you do it. get in. We finna go too. I know. Go ahead by telling them this going to be worse than Wilson. Tell them about yeah, get yeah, get a smaller t-shirt. You look bad body, so get get yeah, out a small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you look, you, you know. know what? So, I, I, you know? I can't, I can't expect people with these fake teeth gonna try to tell me about. Damn, man, 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 don't be kind of walking. What? What? Don't come out there like that. You put on the right side. Hey. Bro. I'm not finna do this. There's don't worry about people finna be walking right here, ball hey. head, and try to pick on me. Y'all hey, not gonna I, do I, this. Hey, hey, I take my teeth. But if you don't come in there right the first day, you're going to get you a deal, though. <laughs> <laughs> you better wow. Come hey, you better come. Do you, hey, hey this, this, this is late night show. Y'all, yeah, you, y'all, it, y'all, y'all so, I'm, I'm PG-13. I'm ready to do it. It's so little. You better come out the box swing. You so if, I, if I see Sasha's face, the, uh, if she's looking sad, I said, God, dog. You definitely don't know. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can tell. Yeah. And, on, and then do something. I'm telling you, what, get on the step, stand on the step, and just do the flat foot. <laughs> <And do care, laughs> <race. laughs> so you want like you got can muscle too. There you go, Dwayne. And all that fell, and all that fell, Dwayne. Stay on them toes. <laughs> so do that. Then he gonna run out there and then do that. We trying to hit y'all. Hey, he go, preacher. He listen, he go. He go. You listen. He go. Listen, listen. <laughs> he, listen. So he come that time. Like, I'm gonna need some marrow. Oh man, I'm gonna need some counseling. I don't oh. throw him below. I'm saying, we oh, need man. some nice son of mine. I oh. told you to do them 500 crunches. <laughs> Rip them heels, man. I'm telling you, he gotta run them hard, man. You gotta come in with some man. They want me looking for some oh, energetic. Geez. You gotta come in the light. Who oh, like man. depending on you? Oh, you like them, they'll be okay. Man, I'm telling you, that man gonna come out. He cheap. He's gonna come out of them new draws. I know he he ain't gonna buy no new. That, that man gonna wear that stain, the worst stain underwear, arm and rubbing on the We yeah. have to give him drawers for, for press. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm buying a tight and white. Yeah. I know that when he wear he I ain't been putting on nine draw and he don't know how to wear him. Yeah, he got fit around his leg, man. Like he got a muscle in his leg. So he got the, he coming, I'm telling you, them tighter white are loosen up. So now yeah. you got the, and the, the right like the whole other tighter white because tighter white is straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he got it roll over. So they start out, yeah. they be like the new one going to school, they fit, but at the day go, they just be loosening up. Yeah. So now you look like you just it look like you just got like it's just like you put like um Put like two peanuts inside of an empty chip bag and start slinging around like that and then make it noise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You be ready with that. Okay. You Dwayne, you're on mute, man. We like that. What? Yeah, yeah, just stay on mute. What? You hey, muted, Dwayne. Hey, Spinny, make sure you, you get on. You hear me now? Yeah, yeah. 
Hey, I need a bathroom break. I'm gonna leave y'all kids alone. Y'all go on. Oh, who are they? Right, they go somewhere. Oh, that goes to the table. That's right. Who are that person right now? I'm laughing before they go. Who are that? Yeah. Sausages. She don't say no. She don't tell no. Come down there, no tighter white is on now. You want to write down now? You come down. You come down. I'm gonna tell this man. If you gonna wear some tighter white, brand, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I got a mark. I'm gonna draw them for you. Hey, I, I'm just, I'm just glad that y'all get joy off of me. If I, if, if, if Terry, if, if, if cracking on me make y'all feel better about y'all self, I'm all for it. Now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I appreciate, I appreciate I'm not, all I'm not I'm not I just want y'all to see all the haters. Either. Everybody out there watching, have y'all ever seen one show where all four people they jump in there and attack the innocent? No, we're trying, see to, this, help right? look, we're we're trying to help you. Look, 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 kids who are here watching, these little kids watching. When y'all be sitting there in classroom and y'all got all the people picking on y'all like that, just take the word. Don't fall for it. They really it. jealous of you. They really Crazy, jealous. Of you. Crazy, they trying to have That's my all it is. Listen, let me tell you this right here. Don't wear that dirty shirt and the underarm is too low. Where it done got brown right now. Yeah. I keep me some Fred Draw and t shirts <laughs> That's why I will. I about this. I keep my pair. I bust them out in a minute too. Don't um, you gonna wear them tight and whitey. Make sure you wear the one where they gonna make them like they fit on your leg when you come out. You don't want that yeah, loose. Out, yeah, that's your that's your bit. That's your first time. That's your first appearance. You come out. They're like, they mean, don't be coming out. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell no joke. Come oh, ready to oh, oh, You know what oh, hey, 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 they call me. Hey, 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 awesome. They gonna they, they, that's gonna be critical time. You need to come out the box. Listen, yeah. you come out about you gotta come out your time to roll now. Like, control, man. You don't you don't get a second you don't get a second time nah. for a first impression, man. You gotta come out of the box, man. What what, what kind of material this is? What kind of material? Get that cash out. What what is he gonna do? What is he gonna hey, do? Y'all be sure to hit that cash up now. We hey, need man, that money. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, Dwayne, take your time, too, man. Hey, y'all be sure to yeah. hit that don't, cash up. Don't let the money get you down. And I'm not his wife. They had a plan. Keep back some money from the land. But what they didn't know, they could lie to the Holy Ghost. And they let a little money get them down. And I'm begging you, don't let a little money get you down. Get you down. <laughs> yeah, talking about him. Oh, he, yeah, listen, listen, he, he ain't got time to come here. That man ain't got that man. Missile, that man can't take off. <laughs> come out there, the missile don't shoot up and all that. You don't come to war and you sit here red eye. All right, oh, yeah. done. <laughs> man, we trying to hit my five hundred amps. Run them heels, man. I'm trying to tell you, you don't want to come that letter down now. Come right. around the missile don't go nowhere. All he <laughs> gonna do is tell them, but what kind of material this is? Let me tell you about the routine back when I was a comedian. Was they fired him? That man when they come to club, they ran that man out of they gonna try to yeah. use it on us. We like man, oh, we don't yeah. want to so listen, no. anybody trying to get married, you want to let us give you some culture. <laughs> we need to play between the sheet by the eye of the brother. That's all he's gonna be doing the plan. We he need to get now. He don't need to go in that plan. <laughs> he need to go in and be serious. I know he, he gonna let her try to play all this. She's gonna be like, man, it's a lot of stalling going on around here now. Come on now. <laughs> That's why I said she's gonna let me tell you the routine I use. Well, hold on. Yeah. What do you call a deal with no eyes and no horns? I have no idea. Whoa, what? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one, though. Hey, you're like, man, that's it. They're gonna start it. And I should be saying, saying, they man, they man, you know, he's gonna do, he's gonna go right in there that night. He's gonna go and lock himself in the bathroom. Can, can I get back with you tomorrow? I think I ate some. Here you go. He oh, yeah. like, don't eat no doodle food either, man. Your wedding that you need to eat, eat love. Ain't that time you be sitting out, try that doodle, man. Yep, great. 
Yeah, Bro, now you get that man going in there and sit on the talk. You sit here waiting and man sit in the bathroom for three and a half hours. That's right. Yeah. Fall asleep. <clears throat> oh, he's gonna do that. If, if y'all ain't in that station, if y'all not at that hotel by seven, and really sit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bro, they didn't get that hotel around by 4 30. Oh man. Why? Okay. Don't worry about it. Let's start over that side. Bathroom by ten. Yeah, that way he got that bathroom by leave by seven, <laughs> and she got about five minutes before he go to sleep. Maybe she's sleeping like that too. Let's do what the current people do. Y'all try to marry for love. That way nobody don't get nothing. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Everybody oh. miss you marry for love. Sure. Maybe she likes that sleep sleeping too and using the bath. Maybe that's yeah. the same. That could be. Yeah, I mean, hey. just listen, listen. Some people can blast out and go to the moon. Some people can blast off and, and go to higher heights, deeper depth. And some people just, I mean, it's just a blast. It's just a blast. <laughs> don't be, y'all don't come in. Don't come in with your expectation way up here. They don't tell oh, really? Come down and just let's see how it work out. Main thing is, do what I say. Make sure you ask, just say, I'm just asking, what, what kind of draw are you looking to wear? Like, huh? See, that's the problem right there. You want to come out now? You gonna come out with the Nicola J? You need to come out with something. There. You don't come with the tight white, and then the fruit thing. Oh, I'm telling you, and the fruit thing on the back be faded, so you only know if it's fruit Malone or is it the other one. Now, that's yeah. the he, gonna have, he gonna have new underwear. Don't worry. If, if, if all that, if all if that, that fell, effort, yeah, Go ahead. if all that fell, you gotta just get a get a words of uh, of old Moses. Man, I'm just trying to. I'm trying to be safe. That's, that's all he gotta do. That's what you tell me. Do what you do. do it doesn't do. matter. Let's just be safe. Listen, go. Yeah, I'm saying, go down and start playing. Right, you can't play. <laughs> Let's start playing. Oh, we thank you, anymore. Oh, you've been so good. Oh, how you keep it? And then you crack your eyes, see what she said. Then when you pray with your eyes closed, folks know that it's serious. Cause we pray with our eyes open, but now you rock with your eyes. So yeah, yeah, you rock with it. Oh, oh you done man. so much. Whoa, you done brought from a mighty long way. Oh, you ain't have to do it. It ain't about all this. It about being saved. That's the world. See, that way he, you know what I'm saying? He's there, they make you feel bad. Be like, mm. Get yourself and go. The world pass away. Whoa, all that stuff gonna go. Flesh and blood can't enter in. See, <laughs> Listen, oh. you messed up, but you got to start saying stuff. You got to cut, then it make them feel bad. Be like, man, I feel bad. I feel bad. Yeah. Whoa, oh, not the world. Whoa, everything in the world. Oh, going to pass away. He got to start hollering it. He got to, like, he mean it. He got to, and then put some tears. You get through, you be like, you, you want to try to do it again. Then she yeah. like, no, I'm just, I'm just going to go to sleep. He be like, now, that's on you now, because I was ready. Oh, he, have a wife, he kept for the things of the world. <laughs> so he got to know how to, he got to know how to talk. See, and that way he try to win or over. Like that way you look good, Dwayne. I will write it down for you. Start to close your ears up so you can't hear. We'll yeah. write it down. You just <laughs> he ain't gonna do it. He ain't gonna do it. Okay. It's okay, Dwayne. It's okay. It's okay. You know, they don't just come on me. Don't you? Don't, don't you listen to Raw Eye and Boston? Don't you about that? You know, 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 you with love and kindness, have I drawn it? That's the name of this show now. <laughs> At the 10th third, we change it from two mice on the mind to love and oh, kindness. Man. Man. Dwayne did pull a clamp in his head. He falls short. Oh, well, he already going to be short. He got to fall. Oh, uh, that man, that man's gonna say, "Don't worry about it. All have sin and call short." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a day! What a day that would be. 
Well, that's not a part of the business type. If y'all get married, you want to make a tape. <laughs> we don't want to see that quite. You're going to be short anyway. Just, just you know, <laughs> he go, the part when he go into that deep prayer. <laughs> right now, it's on you now. That pretty what happened now. I said we can go back again now. But it's on you now. If you want to do what the world do, but if not, you know what I'm saying. I mean, I, 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 I do it for you now. That ain't gonna you can't make him feel bad. Make him feel like he done did it, y'all. We gonna get it right now, stop. We gonna. I'm gonna tie him behind that pickup truck. I get him up that hill one way or another. Yeah. I got a special gear on my truck. If you fall. My truck it drop in a low gear and just take off, so he'll be and then he gonna be a little lighter and he'll be a little white looking too with a little red tint to him. Yes, absolutely. But well, listen, I gotta give it a go. I got got him a foot. I don't know how I got. I think I caught him from Smith. I ain't never had it before. I, ain't never, I wasn't born with it. I wasn't, ain't never had it before. Exactly. Yeah, but I know the head all their life. Tony. You haven't even been diagnosed, formally diagnosed. I know what I got. Okay, darling. I'm a doctor. I done already checked. I already thought about it. Okay, darling. Listen, all right, who know what got is? No, my. I got gout. So what is it? That part. Right up in here. That part right here. That thing know it hurt. Right up in there. My feet. Look at your feet. What? I can't see it. What it do? Uh, we just need a cut. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why it ain't lotion. Why it? I ain't down. I'm up at the top. So if she sees something like that, she need to try to do it. What? That's a real foot. That's a heart. That's a working man. Listen, if it, I'm, I'm talking, if I were like Dwayne's, I'd be right at, oh, Todd, Scott, do what you need to look at. Please don't, don't do that. That nigga told so ugly. Listen, he got a, a smidgen of a nail and a whole bunch of meat wrapped around him. Man, one time me and him went to get our feet done back there for what we do feet wise. I said, "Why we go?" He said, "Bro, I'm gonna go with you." I said, "All right, come on, we're going up here." We went up here. And he was sitting down. So with two of the women, they were doing our feet, and the woman she looked, she smiled, doing mine. The other one over there, he said, "Let me have some. Them feet right there. What you think about them feet?" She talked, blah, blah, blah. and I knew I couldn't. I ain't speak language, but you could read. It was coming clear like they're Pentecost. I hear what she was saying. She like. <laughs> She said, how I get that mother blanket right here? You got me a dingo there. He go, oh, what you say? <laughs> he can hear, he go, what you say? I'm handsome. Man, that day was just going out and laying my face. He was just laughing like, sucker. <laughs> Listen, he just got a smidgen of an, it ain't even a whole thing in there. It's a, it like a, it's like a little, tiny little piece of paper. It just tore up. We got a bunch of meat right Listen, Rick, ain't no nail. It's just a tiny little piece. He can't listen. His toenail don't even grow. Man, I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? Oh, man, man. You know? All right, I'm telling you, that's his big toe. So the rest don't get smaller. That's his big toenail, and it's just all meat. This man, I look at that thing. I said, I said, man, what's wrong with your foot, man? He told me, you can't do a I said, there you go. I said, man, man you don't know like, man, you don't know your toes out there. <laughs> like, man, you walk around the <laughs> Listen, all I'm looking at, like, man, I'd have never brought you in here. Listen, that lady cussed so bad, and she didn't even know it had started coming in English. Listen, the MF word is the same in any other language. I said, Oh, I said, yeah. I, he told him, you sound oh, real. So, I said, that's not what she said. I know what she said. You would have told me I would have never brought you. She, listen, man. She, listen, I seen him toenail. Listen, make that nigga wear some salt. Listen, you'll see. Listen, he ain't gonna. I tell you what, he can't scratch with his toes. That's one thing. If you uh -huh. ever come like, well, uh, he be scratch me and I'm like, how? With my toe. I'm saying, you're a liar. Uh -huh. you're a liar. Hopefully, they're nothing to feet because <laughs> it's not. It could. He gotta be taken. He can't do it in the hand. He got that meat. You know what I'm saying? That meat right there. They got the. You can't. All he do is like meat rubbing. Like he's like scratch my back. He got to go get a fork and just a uh, spoon and rub that. Head. Cause he ain't got no there. The meat grow around now. I know some folk like that. I want them make me no sandwich. Oh People, they do. They mash their bread. 
Well, tell you, cause they got that. All right, all right, do this. All right, do that. Oh, you, you know, look at Joe. Let she know it. Me, we said, listen. Go find somebody, and they like got all that meat around there. And they ain't got no nail. Watch it. Put put a piece of bread. Just lay it down. Watch it. Don't look at it. They're like, gonna peel. They're they gonna just be mashing. They like to mash. I said, uh -uh, I can't eat it. I see them thinking, They be like, yeah, I'm gonna make you a sandwich. I said, no, you don't make no sandwich. <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna do. I gonna do it there. Mash it down. I said, mm -mm, mm -mm. All that about mash my food. I I rather really not. I rather really not do it. When I said I'm thinking, I said, mm -mm. you ain't make them hand now. Don't blame. I ain't blaming you. You just ain't gonna make me no sandwich. Wow. Cause I know you gonna mash it. That bread can I'm sounding the family like, what, what's that? Yeah, what they gonna lie? To what? What's yeah. them? What's them? What's them fingerprint? They like, oh, I don't know. The bread come. They go to the grocery store, take it out of the bread aisle. They just start owning it. They just own that thing. They just mash every piece and put it back in there. They dangerous people. But I can help you that. Make it wear sock sugar. <laughs> oh, we got to get it to go. That's what I'm doing. Taxes. <laughs> nah, not yet. He said taxes. <laughs> I don't know. But I saw that kind of payment in his April. I said, but I'm taxing right now. <laughs> nah, applications, man. Smitty, did you sign them tax paperwork? No, you saw it. You look at it. I signed my. I mean, all I want to look at was was I on or was I getting back? I haven't looked at it. So I haven't been. Oh, you never signed. Oh, okay. If I owe, I said, let's stay away from it. Let Trump. I'm gonna get Trump. Let Trump know. I still. I didn't have a chance over it though. Well, make sure you sign it. I need. I need them little scale. I think she's trying to get back a scab or two. Well, good for you. Child, I need some. Listen, you kidding me. I didn't, I didn't know not coming out again. I was going to have to pay. You were, I was going to pay. You chose to pay. And thank you. Where was you at? I didn't, I didn't, wait, I didn't see the time. <laughs> thinking, why are they taking it to you? Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. I'm you like, know. I didn't see it. All right, give me the deposit money back. Give me the deposit money. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. <laughs> That's it. it passed. <laughs> How she was gonna pay and she can't give me the deposit money? I want to go use that. I was. I that no no that was no. Mm -mm. I can't give you that. Then the nigga ordered something else. Extra had nothing to do with nothing. You know what? I got So they, I just paid for everybody's stuff was in there. Then I just got a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> You know why you just so fast? I could have taken care of that. I told you I was, I was doing that. But oh, it ain't too late. It ain't too late. Oh, it is too late. It is too late, sir. I'm gonna get Dwayne. I go. I'm gonna make your sound let Dwayne. I'm saying, huh? I'm saying, handle that bread for me. I want. <laughs> I want to put all those little nigga nail prints, them little nigga mash prints, all in your bread. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have y'all. Question. Good to see. You. We didn't see you wins tonight. Question. Okay. Yeah, quite. We got now. We got tomorrow night. Quite time to show up. You were missing Wednesday night. The rest of y'all, we are gonna see y'all. I know said said to be that Andrew. He'll be over there. Who else will be over there? Who else? Josh Humpback gonna be like a Humpback when we call him up. They gonna tell about the women he done met. You know he done met a new woman. He did. I mean that. I mean that story. He gonna tell you. <laughs> so, I mean, come on. He gonna be ready for. Oh, okay. I was like, oh. He'll tell you, you know, yo, yo, I met her. She's real nice. You're not going to marry her. Like, what happened? I told her, I said, I, you had told me not to get married, so I just told her a whole lot. Oh, yeah, he'll be there. He said, man, one said she was everything he want. I said, yeah, what happened to her? He said, you had told me to just hold on. Don't, don't even talk no more women. I said, the woman of your dream of your life, you remember, get out of my dream. Get into my car. Then they're going to put a Billy Ocean. Now, had in the car, the woman here dream. And then he gonna tell me I said don't talk to her. Mm. So he'll okay. probably talk about it tomorrow. Who's gonna be there? He said, yeah, he'll say tomorrow, Andrew. When the Jay, you gonna be there tomorrow night? Your kid fat. Your kid don't work me today, too. Mm. Gonna be there tomorrow night. I love you. You love me. We is to my mind and family. Meeting you. Won't you say you love us too? We love y'all. Y'all, y'all with this. Who that? Oh, the quick. No, don't you. Uh, uh, uh. We don't want everybody to come. Some of y'all stay home. <laughs> La Catacata. Yeah, La Catacata. La Catacata. How her mama? She said her mama named her uh, 
Because a Mexican took her mom to the hospital. That's why she named her after the Mexican. What's wrong with that? I've never heard of a Mexican named La Quiera, though. No, no. See, they don't see the Mexicans. You know they laughing at her, right? They see them. They told her the name of La Quiera. Because I don't know, but La Quiera. You, you would know. You, you would know. Um, of Hispanic descent to me. It could be. La Quay, you said, Quay, I've been working at Gorilla. I'm almost getting where he can ride a bike, Quay. I'm working with him. Now she's going to say she thought it was Cuba. That's not what you said. You said that it was a Mexican. Took your mom, her mom was at the bus stop. Her mom was at the bus stop? And her mama picked, and the Mexican picked her mom up at the bus stop and drove the hot pillow. She said, honor y'all, and it was Cinco de Mayo. She said, I'm going to name my child after y'all. La Quiera. I wonder where it means. No, one was locked up. The other one was questionable. And the <laughs> other one had made some mistakes. She said, so, La Queer Era. <laughs> she got a name. La Era. Yeah, because one of them had been in prison. He'd been locked up. Locked up. The other one was questionable. Yeah. And the other one was making a lot of mistakes, so he had made a lot of errors. Error. La Questionera. <laughs> La Questionera. So that's how she got her name. Okay, y'all, I'm about to go take him, give him some medication so he can have a good night's sleep tonight. Yeah, so it's rough. It's rough. Uh, uh, yeah. The whole put the, what is that? The whole, what is that? Pedal? What is it? The whole pedal? <laughs> oh, the, oh, the whole pedal. That way it touched the whole pedal. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Listen, Hob, y'all. Lock another one, Sarah. Oh yeah, who at like We'll see y'all tomorrow. And I'm crumble. I'm looking to be back. Well, when is that you are no good to me anymore? Who's that? Who's that? Still singing. She said she can't sing anymore, so he said that she's no good to him. Ah! What? Who's that? That's who that? Roy Cordes. Who ain't no good to him no more? Quite sure. Whatever. Okay, we not don't. There's a Carrie still drunk. Carrie, what am Will Chamber to pay tomorrow night? <laughs> Oh, he'll come out with something on tomorrow. Where that cake that we can please wear that cake. I'm let they can say that, they will, and then listen. That way y'all can say now when y'all got two, you know what I'm saying? Y'all come save me and we'll be the holiday. You only gotta put a cape on. Then Carrie will come out with that cape on with them whip telling pants on. I see that. I'm definitely All right. Well, listen, we'll hob y'all. I gotta get ready to go. I gotta get well. I'm breaking down. Uh hob y'all. Hob you quick. Hob all y'all. Hob y'all. Uh -huh. Appreciate y'all. I hope y'all. I hope I'm getting Dwayne ain't got no toenail. <laughs>